Welcome, folks, to the episode 395,000 of the Shake and Bake Show with Stevie Fast Jackson. Lyle has bad ethernet reception at the truck stop, Barnett, and Courtney stuck in Canada in a snowstorm enders. Uh, Courtney's actually on a plane right now on the way back from Canada and will not probably be with us tonight, but she'll be in the chat. Uh, Lyle is at the Love's truck stop where he is struggling with his ethernet connection, but he will be on at some point. We have an absolutely action-packed show for you guys tonight. Um, I've been working on this for a long, long time. Uh, we've got some absolute number one stunner guests tonight, uh, and we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We got some uh, some really big announcements, some stuff coming that's going to shake up the drag racing world, and uh, I can't wait to, to get into it with all you guys and gals. Looks like the chat room is already popping with folks that are guessing what we're going to talk about. Um, I have been, it's been a month since we saw you guys. Um, the last episode was canceled due to, uh, A, we were we were struggling with everybody getting together and as well as well, there's really nothing for us to talk about. No events, no races. Hope all you guys are having a happy, um, a happy new year. Uh, we have Bradenton U.S. Street Nationals coming up next week. Uh, and we got a lot to talk about on that. Um, I'll, we'll d dive into the chat a little bit uh, while Lyle's getting his stuff fired up, and then we're going to start bringing on some some guests. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to get pregnant and have a baby with Lyle. <laughs> Don O'Neill's not not <laughs> driving the. No, no. Yeah, Lyle's definitely looking for lot lizards again. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of this. We're gonna get into a little bit of that uh, here in a little bit, and we'll see if we can um, we'll see if we can get to the bottom of some of that. <laughs> oh man! All right, with no further ado, we're gonna bring on our first guest. Um, a lot of you guys know him. A lot of you guys don't. They have taken over uh, their market, and uh, he's become a good friend of mine. How about the owner of Motion Race Work, Doug Cook? What's up, Douglas? What's going on, buddy? Man, we're hanging out. We're shaking and baking. You have way too many ice cubes in that bourbon drink. That's because it's gonna. I'm gonna drink it for a long time. <laughs> so I've got one one big one in this unit. Yeah, but that thing's gonna melt. Uh, first of all, thank you for coming on the show. We've been trying to get you on for a long time. Um, what is new in the off season at Motion? What bourbon are you drinking? And tell us what's been happening lately. Well, first and most importantly, Weller 12, it's a big night. There, big we, go. there we go, bringing out the guns. Bringing out the good stuff. Uh, there is no off season anymore, man. It's like we got customers, you know, banging down our door before World Cup, and then there's Snowbirds, PRI, and then you get like a week, you know, you get Christmas, that's it. So, uh, but we actually just launched a new company last week. We bought r, &R Dry Stump Oil Pump uh the company um back in july and relaunched it as a company we call fluid works so that's uh taking up some of our time and effort and you know just doing what we do so when you when you go in and you look at a company you purchase a company like that how much we know it's a, a big deal going through the process of it how much do you restructure the company off the rip do you take the good pieces and throw away the bad do you re overhaul the whole thing like what because uh, You've been you've been making a lot of waves lately. How, what does that look just, like? We just look for products that are good and like hopefully we can add some value to it. Like TBM had a good product line. You know we we bought them in 2021 and like we just added our machine and engineering to it and just took it and ran with it. Like I don't know if there's like a formula. We're definitely not. We're too young to be saying we got a formula. We got it figured out. But I think we're just ignorance is bliss, right? Yeah. Well. Everybody comes to me and says, Motion Race Works, you just came out of nowhere and just took over the world. Like, I hear that a lot on the back channels, but people don't understand how much work goes behind the scenes and coming out and taking over the world. Like, you guys, uh, you guys put in the work, and it's a lot of work. It's just like what you do. Whether you put in 40 hours a week for 40 years or you put in 80 hours a week for 20 years, like that, you just get, to get it done faster if you work more, you know? So, uh, we just have a good team. You know, we got like six engineers in house, uh, designing products. We got 
15 CNC machines. So we just try not to buy a bunch of dumb shit and put it back into, you know, building a business. How we, me and you've talked about this off the, off the, off the show and behind the scenes, motorsports is a passion based business, right? Mm -hmm. Do you approach running motion and rife and TBM? Uh, do you approach it from a fiscal policy of making money at your business or do you approach your business and run it with passion? Passion. Yeah. I mean, like, you got to know that the part you're making costs less than what you're selling it for. But like after that, it's just figure it out, you know? Yeah. And I'm like what you do. If you're like, I bet like my accountant laughs at me a lot, but it always seems to work out. Uh, Don O'Neill looked at me this week. He's like, this is not a good business model. <laughs> He's like, I don't know if you've looked at the books. <laughs> He's like we're going the wrong way. And I told yeah. him, keep going down the wrong way and haul ass and they'll eventually get into the good side of life. Usually how you know you're doing something right. That's right. Um, all right. So we have been, look at, look who is in the backstage. Let's see if we can get the bead locker. Oh, that's I can. better. I can't, I, I can't get my computer to work. So iPhone it is. iPhone it is. I thought we were going to have to carry it on without our two hosts. Lyle Barnett, what you been up to? Did you get out of the truck stop? What is new at MacFab? And what's, what have you been doing? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it is wetter than a sunbitch. Oh, have we done the parental advisory yet? Good. There uh, go. No. Um, well, Matthew, if you well, could uh, get that parental advisory up. It is wetter than a sunbitch up here. Uh, it's so cold. So I actually meant to post a picture earlier. I had about a 30-minute conversation with uh, Rick Jones today. He told me all the secrets about well, you know, and, uh, but anyway, um, he said today was the first day at RJ race cars. It's been above zero in six days. And guess what? It was three degrees when I was talking to him. I talked uh, to him today too. And I was complaining about our 38 degree weather. Yeah. And he's like, shut up. We don't even see yeah. zero. But, uh, Most no, race been... works got 25 inches of snow last week. Woo! No, just, I like a little bit of snow, but that, that's a little, that's a little much. I don't like any snow. I'm from the no. south. Like, two okay. flakes, and I'm ready to roll out. Like I, I'm ready to go. But uh, other than that, the beadlock shop is wide ass open, man. Uh, we've uh, I think when I left today, there were like 25 or 30 sets of wheels in there that need to be done, and that many to ship out. And it's uh, business is good, man. It's it's been going good. I'm ready to go back racing, but right now I can't really afford to even leave the shop. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. At when you we were talking about running companies um, by bean counters or by passion, um, MacFab Beadlocks is a passion based business, yeah. and you can tell by how successful you guys are doing it. Yeah. Like you got killing it. Yeah, the uh, I, I took a <clears throat> taken several pointers throughout the course of Motion Raceworks uh, existence on a uh, social media presence, and I'm still not as good as they are at it, but I'm also doing it on my own. Uh, I run a hundred percent of the social media, uh, on my own with the exception of messenger. Uh, my dad, Kevin, our engineer and myself handle, uh, that as a collective group, but otherwise all the content, whether good or bad is created is all done by me. So it's, uh, it's a lot to handle. I had no idea what I was diving off into until I got in there. And then I realized why Doug has, an entire army of people that just do that because that's literally what it takes, especially a company as big as motion, but man, it's a lot. I'm always shocked when folks get into business the way I know for me, what, what it ended up being was nothing close to what I thought it was going to be. I right. thought I'm just going to come in. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to have some money and some people that do crap for me. And I'm going to go play golf and race my car. And I'm up I, out here at 4 AM and I'm leaving at midnight every night. I tell my guys like it's two percent fun and ninety eight percent holy shit. Like, <laughs> and you better learn to enjoy the two percent while it's there because it ain't gonna be there long. No, that's right. Yep, yep, absolutely. And and chaos abounds left and right. Lyle, are you excited about next week? I'm very excited about next week. Um, we uh, we've got some stuff we're gonna test and some stuff we're gonna try early in the week. Uh, obviously, Steve Petty is pecking all the buttons on the computer behind my car. And I've been on the phone with him a couple of times over the past couple of weeks and kind of telling me what they're going to try to do and, and all that good stuff. I'm not sure that 
Well, actually, right now, I can't even say that we're going because our car is snowed in at Bickle right now. So um, we've got to it's got to clear up enough for them to get up there and get the car. I'm sure they will. I bet they'll figure out how to get it yeah. out. I bet but, so uh, too. You know, we're, we're one of four left uh, to finish the Snowbirds. Uh, from what I understand, Melanie isn't coming to the U.S. streets. So Scott Lang will have wow. a final just from what I've heard. And then I will have Mark Mickey um, in the what will be the semifinals of the Snowbirds. And uh, been some rule changes since then. I think we talked about that a little bit previously. We will run the new rule set. And I saw a bunch of banner back and forth. Maybe that's something we can talk about for a second. Whenever Victor came around at when the when the rain came at the Snowbirds and uh, myself, Mark Mickey, Melanie Salemi, and Scott Lang were left, he was asking what we wanted to do. You know, and I'm like, dude, I don't care what everybody else want to do. You know, and I was the last one, and he obviously wasn't going to tell me what everybody else had said. So I was like, let's just split the money up. Um, and then race for the trophy when we come back, which is what everybody else had agreed to do. Um, and but the, the my question was, well, obviously there's going to be a rule change. Um, and what rule set will we run? Because it's during qualifying of the U.S. Street, so we can't run the old rule set if we're qualifying for the next race. And Victor said, well, we've got to run the new rule set. And I saw a bunch of talk on the internet about how, oh, that's bullshit, or oh, they should the the rules are are, are fucked up now and. And all, you know, Todd Moyer and Mickey no longer have the advantage, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, what is the right thing? I mean, obviously, we have to run the new rule set. But, Stevie, if you were Mark Mickey, how would you feel about it? Oh, I mean, you've entered an event. You get kicked in the balls. And, like, you got to go race. That's that's difficult. Just like the, the screw deal, you know, I don't think they needed 25 pounds added to them. And they get to race. You know, they get to come race and be heavier than what they were. Um, that's a tough deal. And there's no way to. There's no right answer. If you don't do anything, Mark Mickey goes and runs over the field and the fans don't get a good race. If you do do something, you've changed the rules in the middle of an event. It's one of those weird deals like the Bristol, um, New Hampshire Epping deal last year uh, where they had substitute drivers at Bristol that never entered the race in Epping. And it's just one of them deals where every half everybody's going to be mad. Yeah. I mean, so at the end of the day, you got to trust that Victor's got a good heart. He knows what he's doing and he's going to do what's best for the class. So I, don't, I mean, you know, there's, there's, if you don't change the rules, half everybody thinks it's crazy. And if you change it, half people think it's crazy. So there's no perfect know, rule set. Deal. I don't know what they did with it. I, I didn't look. I know they did the screw deal. What they do? The turbo, turbo cars are, well. the turbo cars, depending on turbo of choice, right? You know, because there's, there's so many different ones then paired with a lockup, um, you know, the 88s, the 98s. Anything bigger than that, paired with a lockup, is all different weights. It, overall, they got obviously significantly heavier than they were before, but not every combination. So, the obviously the ones that were running really well there. I think Mark had, God, he cussed me. I think he had ninety fours on, but he could have had ninety eights. Uh, I can't remember, but I don't think him and Todd were exact sat exactly the same on the starting line. I, one of them was had a bigger turbo than the other. I can't remember, but regardless, they're significantly heavier um, than they were before. If they ran their respective combo from the snowbirds. Uh, if you talk to some of the people who know the turbo stuff, well, there was a kind of a loophole there that they felt like everybody would go whatever direction that is. But um, who knows what they'll show up with. There's so many different turbo combinations and stuff you could, you could bring to the table. Um, and if anybody knows, well, Carl Stevens and those guys know it pretty well, and Mark Mickey's no dummy, so I'm sure they'll bring whatever they feel like fits the rules the best. Yeah, they're not going to just, like, show up and try to have fun. They're coming to win. Yeah, for sure. It's got to be hard to hang a bunch of weight on a pro mod, don't it? It's hard to hang a bunch of weight to anything, but a big tor a big t a big tire pro mod, you start talking about 25, 50, 25 pounds will wreck a program once it gets it over center. So, like, it's wow. just like overdrive on the screw in the NHRA. They, you keep taking it away, and it's a little bit and a little bit. When you start swinging 50 pounds and 75 pounds, it takes a little bit to figure it out. Yeah, and I know at least one or two of the turbo combinations, it was more than that. Um, so, but again, I would have to go pull up the rule sheet and see the reds and the greens on what changed and what didn't. But um, I know that they're toting a good bit more weight if they stayed the same. All right. It's going to be it's gonna be fun to watch. That's one thing about these outlaw races uh, that are awesome because – it's always exciting. There's always a lot of uh, drama. There's always a lot of rivalry, and uh, I can't wait to come down there. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. 
Um, all right, we got somebody in the background that I have been trying to get on the show since we started. Um, one of the guys I met by happenstance actually through Lyle, and uh, a lot of you guys know him. He's the king of social media, the king of promoting, uh, and I'm super excited to get him on the show. There's a lot of comments uh, in the chat that I'm going to come back and get to, uh, but without any further ado, I want to bring on the man himself, Cletus McFarlane. Yee! What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Right? Brother. Is yeah. working? Man, we're working all the time. You can hear me, right? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Sir. Right. Clear. I can enjoyed watching Lyle have internet issues. I live stream issues are my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> well, it all, it well, always please. happens at the most important. Perfect timing. Oh, Lyle and I did a little test me. deal earlier, and it worked fine. And then as soon as it's showtime, nothing works. Uh, being, being that you had got licensed or approved in the Blackhawk deal, you could have just fucking jetted up here real quick and helped I me know, out. I know. That would have been a real – that would have been way easier. Yeah. Than this. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so a lot of our Shake and Bake fans are also Cletus McFarlane fans. There's a lot of uh, our types of sport that overlap. Tell us what you've been up to and what would be our off season. You never have an off season. You work more than anybody I've ever seen. What have you been up to <laughs> the last couple of months? You know, man, the last couple of months, one World Cup with Leroy. I mean, come on. You know the deal. Come on with it. Uh, it's been raising my son with my wife, enjoying the heck out of that. You know, 14 months now. We just passed. Uh we're getting Ruby ready for sick week right now, getting mullet, mullet getting a uh, floater four link deal. And I mean, been driving this F 150. I really like that. Just building stuff, you know, building, breaking, repeating alongside uh, my boys at Motion, you know, using all kinds of motion parts and tearing those up too. You've been yeah. keeping the transmission in that F 150 or what? Yeah, dude, you know, transmission's good right now. It's Frank's now ripped off, but you know, we're not going to worry about that. Garrett takes me for a ride a couple weeks ago, and he's like, Bro, you got to come for a ride in this thing. And I shit you not, this guy reset, did like a hard reset on the transmission like six times during that <laughs> ride. I did say it was on its last leg when we pulled away. I said, it's... He's like, Oh, it's getting hot. I'm like, Oh, we're going to be stranded. <laughs> It happens. How, much, how many vehicles on average do you destroy a year? Like that are not usable. Well, in- if you count Crown Vix, that number is kind of boosted. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> I think we go through about forty Crown Vix a year. Yeah, hey Stevie. <laughs> two years ago, we were we were a candidate for one of those torn up Crown Vix. Actually, Every- two, two if you count the backup car that Didn't I. Did you guys get last? <sighs> we didn't finish the race. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were targeted by people who know what they're doing. Like targeted by people who turn when they drive. Yeah, me and Lyle were targeted. Yeah, I should have known better. Inviting drag racers to the- we were we were no, staying I mean, to join up. Back. I guess we should <laughs> take something. Stevie, remember how you had the nitrous time to like the exact amount of time you could use it? I actually flowed a ten pound bottle on a flow bench so I could figure out to the second at nine hundred <laughs> psi how much. <laughs> how many times we could hit it in seconds. We calculated the whole event out. The problem is, is I did not take into account getting spun out, crashed, flipped around, knocking the radiator out. So when I crashed the car, I had never used any of the nitrous, which is one reason why we are getting crushed. Because I was saving it for the end because I had figured X amount of seconds per lap for the whole rest of the race. Like me and Lyle, we were ready to go. I had a spreadsheet. Like we had figured it all out. <laughs> yeah. And then the chaos of the 2.4 hour of mullet just wrecked our whole program. Oh, it is chaotic. It if is we ever chaotic. get. That's why I asked you guys to run it. Cause he asked me to run a second time. I was like, nah, I'm out. Me and Lyle have consulted. If we ever come back, we're throwing all that shit out the window and we're dropping the hammer and going to the pole. That like not, the, none of that the key is to not worry about anything. We're not worried about anything. We're just yeah. going to go out there and have fun. We're 100 exactly. ain't going to cheat. And we're, we're going to be completely cheating. We we ran the other problem is we ran the deal legal, which we shouldn't have done. Yeah. Cuz nobody we're else not better not. They ran the deal legal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't run a round track deal legal like uh Mayor Earnhardt or any of them guys. They'll tell you you got to push the limit of the rules. 
<laughs> we didn't want to come the first time we we're invited and get thrown out for like running like a legal rear end housing or something in there. Yeah, yeah, just running away from the whole field. I could I could see that happening. All right, so we've watched your racing career, uh, Cletus, go from on the street to really slow stuff to much faster stuff. Lately, we saw you go 220 miles an hour in a El Camino. 233, dude. Come on. 220 plus. Okay. 233 miles an hour <laughs> in a car truck. Yeah. Like, have you thought about moving up the ladder? Have you thought about maybe going pro mod racing? Have you thought about the next yeah. step for you? Or are you just having fun? I think it might be time, man. I don't know. Do you think you can handle one? Do you think you can do it? I mean, Black Hawk Helicopter. I mean, <laughs> Lyle can... runs a pro mod, and last time I drag raced Lyle, I did beat him. So okay. I feel like, oh, man. I, feel like, like I probably can. In my so, Nova. You beat him in my Nova. That's I know. Part, dude. Wow, you got skin up by the cleater? Yeah, man, he burnt me down. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the drag racers. He gave, he gave me the, the drag old, racers. He gave me the old <laughs> final round of Dallas Justin Bond treatment. Left me on the chip over there for, for <laughs> two years. Dude, I've never seen someone pull into the beam so excited than Lyle Barnett on that day. I mean, he had that thing on the chip before I even hit my butt. And I'm well, like, I, look, I, I just want to, I just want to correct. Lyle Barnetted my car. <laughs> and then he said, "Hey, dude, your transmission is melted. There's aluminum dripping off of it. Sorry about that." Dude, and then I heard away. that thing is. And I was still. <laughs> You're like looking around. You're making a sandwich. I was still strapping my helmet. He was. He was He's starstruck. Like, he was starstruck. Okay. He's like. <laughs> did, the, there. did you get faked out by Lyle or the beard? Because the beard is intimidating. When you see that Joker with his helmet on and it's got like a little afro sticking out the bottom, it's intimidating. <laughs> All I remember was the tree dropped. I went. I never saw him, and and that was it. Mm. Mm. We My got a lot of comments saying Kaliter in a pro mod would break the internet. No, he would. He does not need a big old woo charger. We're gonna be. We, we can't get him a woo charger. <laughs> well, we got so him. like, what is it, you know like? So I've driven a lot of pro mods. I've never driven a brick at 230 miles an hour. What is it like driving that thing that fast? Because 230 miles an hour is hauling ass. I mean, but, I think it's uh, it's about as easy as it gets. That car is uh, so heavy and so dialed in that you basically, I mean, any of us in this chat could get in it and repeat the same exact pass. The only thing that would change would be. Our weight. I mean, literally, it's the easiest car to drive. I'm not sure you even need your hands on the steering wheel to win a race in that car. What do you? What's that like? Uh, at World Cup, it was 34.20 or something like that. Oh, two thirty, man! You just better. That's bad. I know. Listen, there is no better <laughs> durability tester to TBM brakes than any it's than true. This car. Sometimes I don't. We, Sometimes I don't even pull my parachute because I'm just like two thirty down there and just TBMs. Dude. We did. Uh, we did. Like there's, a your new, there's your new ad with TBMs. We don't even need a parachute. Just if you cross that, I don't. Want, let's not encourage that. Let's if you cross that weight and, and speed over, it's like two eighty something in a pro mod. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I saw that comment. Do I regret turning Cleeter over to HED? Absolutely not, because Pete's one of the best in the country at, at tuning alcohol. Well, boosted alcohol engines, period, but especially the turbo stuff like Pete's. He's been tuning my stuff for years, so I, I don't give a shit what Cleeter says. I had him first. I just <laughs> let, him, let him have a little bit of, of the Peter G, but Pete's freaking awesome, dude. He's so good at what he does. Can you guys believe he's going on sick week with me? Next oh, man. Again, I wanna, yeah. it's if I ever get Ronnie done, I want to do sick week. Like I won't do good or like finish good or anything. I just want to hang out with Lyle, drink some Yangling, and ride around until it blows up. <laughs> I want to ride shotgun. And drink. Water. That's what I'm saying. Like we're not gonna win or anything, but we just want to go <laughs> hang out. So can I, uh, can I take over for a second, Steve? Yeah. Yes, you may. Okay. I know this wasn't planned, but kind of was. Yeah, you got it's your your floor, sir. All right, guys. So I got to complain about something. Me and Cleeter got something to tell you guys about. Uh, you know, we we kind of worked with Lyle a little bit on the NHRA Pro Mod stuff. 
few years ago. That was cool. We'll continue to do so. Uh, we're going to do it this year, right, Lyle? We are. Right. Woo -woo! right. Rife Sensor is coming on board for the uh, for the complete 2024 NHRA Pro Mod season. Uh, obviously, driving for Scott Tidwell and the Pro Mod and the Pro Line gang, but Doug Cook, Cleeter, Andy, Brian, the whole Motion crew, and Rife Sensors on board the Pro Mod for 2024. Whoop whoop! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Come on, good guys. And honestly, but honestly, there's so many cool races anymore between Bradenton, Orlando. Maryland for World Cup. Uh, you got SGMP just popping off anymore. Um, we just felt like it was time, you know, to take a, this whole thing in a whole different trajectory for motion. And uh, honestly, uh, fuck, I'm going to say it. For, without any further ado, we're announcing the Shadow 3.0. Woo! Like, Look at that bad girl. Woo! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That thing looks good. Dang, boy, <laughs> with the gap on the blower hat. Mm. That's what happens when Doug Cook learns how to use Photoshop. <laughs> Cleater, I did that this morning, believe it or not. That's and clean. Doug emails me at 3.50 this morning. <laughs> All right. What hey, about that, that unit? Stevie, that thing is going to have a lot more horsepower with that big M on the side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle that amount of horsepower. Mm -hmm. But uh, I am honored to be able to represent you guys' brand. We have been waiting for a long time to talk about this. Uh, I respect you guys and your companies, your employees a lot. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge honor to carry that brand on the side of my car. The Shadow franchise is pretty iconic and it's close to my heart. And to get to represent you guys' company uh, in the fashion that we want to do it and, and announce the Shadow 3.0 with you guys as partners, it, it chokes me up. That's the real deal. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm fired up. We talked started talking about this, what, in like 21? Like yeah. when you were selling the old Shadow, you were like, I think it's time. Yeah, when we're selling the other car, I see Doug sneaking around the pits, and he's like, yeah. So we started kicking the can down the road, and, these kind of deals, they're they're like farming. You plant seeds, you see how it works, make sure you can make it work. And we've we've probably have a thousand hours of talking about this. And to finally jump off the diving board in a deep end, it's a big deal. Tell us about that bad girl. Woo! Well, we this thing started back in 2022. We started it in uh, March of 2022. The old Shadow 2.0 had been sold. Um, and it was really an idea. I don't. I didn't feel like anybody had done a fresh sheet of paper multi-purpose pro mod in a while. Um, so this is kind of. It's taken a long time to build, and it's been even harder for me got to keep it from you guys for a year and a half. Um, this is a no no excuses, no expense spared, no whining and crying zone race car um, that we put together from scratch. It's a Tommy Mooney chassis. Um, that is being finished at RK Racecraft. Um, it uh, looks, looks kind of like a, one of your skeleton cards right there. Um, but That's Leroy. That's yeah, guys. Leroy. Leroy. <laughs> right. um, when, you, when you don't just go buy something that's laying around uh, and you, you construct it from scratch, it takes a long time to do. Um, and Ryan is an artist when it comes to these things. And I feel like Tommy builds one of the best chassis in the business. So putting those two guys together to assemble this car, uh, it's going to be something something pretty special. Uh, I feel like we're looking up in the skirt right here. I didn't see what Matt's got all in. <laughs> I might have to weed through some of this stuff. Uh, this thing is naturally, of course, going to be screw supercharged or root supercharged. It'll run a multiple uh, different transmissions and torque converters, depending on what we're doing with it. Uh, it's built to run big tire outlaw stuff. I really want to get back into the grudge scene. So it's built to, to handle pretty much anybody that's got a door car that wants to, to, to race. Um, you can see Ryan eats a lot of Dunkin Donuts in there. I see that, uh, for the paint scheme, we went round and around about the paint scheme and this is the test panel for it. Uh, it's going to be the same color as the shadow 1.0 and 2.0. Um, I wanted to make it glossy. Phil Schuler and Ryan told me I couldn't. <laughs> So it ended up uh, getting fitted with big tires. She looked good. Judy. Um, some Mac on that. 
Uh, yeah, but not yet. That's a, not even my wheels. That belongs to somebody they macked up and uh, put on there. We don't actually have wheels and tires for her yet. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. Um, but, man, she's sexy. Yeah, yeah. Our boy is back, brother. Let's our see. boy is back. There's the uh, fast tire on there. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really been hard to keep my mouth shut about this for this long. Um, there's, I miss the folks. Uh, I miss the fans and my neck deal took me out for a long time. I can't, I am more fired up than y'all can imagine to brace this car. Who's up? fired up to see you win. Who's body? What front end and body is that on that thing? Uh, that is, um, that is a, I don't know. It's a McCamus, isn't it? I think it's McCamus, but I don't want to speak out of turn. I'll, I'm sure Ryan's yelling at me right now for showing those pictures. I think it's a McCamus body, um, but I'll clarify. It's a what's six- honestly, what's honestly really cool about the shadow is like before motion started in like 2015. That is that car when it was a Mustang, when it was nitrous. Like that car is what fired me up because you guys were freaking cowboys. Oh yeah, and uh, I was telling my brother because you know we run the company together. I'm like, dude. Like this is, I, I just wanted to have one part on that car someday to be like, yeah, I got a part on the shadow, and now it's down the side. So it's it's yeah. literally ridiculous. Well, even they're still cowboys that just got nicer fucking horses, uh, you know. Like yeah. back, <laughs> back then they were riding barred mules and donkeys and shit. Now we're riding Clydesdale. Yeah, this thing right here is going to be a Clydesdale. It's built to be a Clydesdale, and we're going to use this. The Shadow 3.0 will be a test bed for Motion Rife and TBM. We're going to carry all of their components. Uh, we're going to show you guys, like, they don't just make streetcar parts. They make pro mod parts, too. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to push it absolutely to the limit. Um, you guys know that if it can be broken, I will break it. <laughs> yeah, we made we made a bunch of parts for that car, the quick release that you told me you had to have. Yeah, you, when you when we're uh, we're going to be debuting all the rest of the build pictures in the next week or two, we're going to show you guys some of that stuff. There's some swanky stuff in here. You guys are going to buy some of this stuff and thank me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember that like the financial the accountant doesn't think it's a good idea. That's all that stuff. This is not a good financial plan for you. Like <laughs> this, is not, this, is not the, this is not good in the profit and loss margin of the Sorry, deal. Garrett. Sorry, Garrett. Sorry, Garrett. It All right, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm on fun meter. The fun <laughs> meter. It's like it's like the hoodie, the picture you posted of your son, uh, where he had the hoodie on that said, uh, "Always have fun, never grow up." That's what the shadow is all about, brother. That's right, dude. Hell yeah. You'd be you'd be shocked at the uh, level of uh, I don't know what you'd call it the lack of uh, responsibility Garrett and I have in our business conversations. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the deal: we only hire. The finest parts testers <laughs> in the industry, right here. We got ourselves a thoroughbred parts tester, right here, Stevie Fast. Whoop whoop. Yeah, um, man, <laughs> Wild's laughing. Wild Barna, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, no, like, I, I do better it. to test these parts yeah. than these guys. But so my, you don't my, blow up everything you got. My favorite thing is to test you guys' parts on your own fucking shit. You know, you're like. <laughs> Man, you know, I haven't really broken this in a long time. I'm gonna let Lyle drive my car <laughs> to break the fuck out of it. You know, like, there it goes. Didn't even have to uh, send. Yeah, that that well, same weekend uh, he melted transmission. He came back after the first test pass and it was smoking out the one exhaust pipe. I'm like, the hell did you do? Oh, I just hit the scramble. I'm like, dude, I didn't even know that thing had a scramble <laughs> button hooked I didn't up. Know that thing worked. How do oh, you know what button to push, dude? It did. About half track. Yeah. I was like, man, why not? It worked. Um, a lot of folks have been dogging us out about our lack of new merch lately. I have been studying the clater, studying the motion with the merch drops, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to announce a complete new line of merchandise on Stevie oh. Fast. Um, yeah, we got the carbon. This going on. Um, for sale, hopefully, right now, or if not right now, as soon as we can get it live in the store. Uh, we got all brand new Shadow 3.0 merch. We've got hats. hopes and dreams. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Love it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah. We're going to. You got to go back and watch some old Stevie videos if you haven't already. Uh, 
So we got beanies, we got hats, we got shirts, we got hoodies, we got ladies tank tops. We also have a complete new line of merch and we, we've got a bunch of these in the, in the works, but these are the four that we're dropping today. Uh, we got shadow 3.0 stuff. Uh, we got our decision to win shirt. It's kind of a Stevieism line. Um, and I really live my life by this. Uh, and you, anybody that's successful does, but the hardest thing in life is to make the decision to win. Uh, once you make that decision, you got to be willing to put in effort and accept the sacrifices that come with making that decision. Uh, pretty cool shirt. Uh, this is for Lyle. If the top ring's free, it needs a degree. Uh, and that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, I love it. Uh, and then we've got our, our seven P's of success. Uh, my attorney's mad about this and my mama, but uh, proper prior preparation prevents piss poor performance um, is our new line of stuff. We got ladies tank tops and stuff. And all. <laughs> Don, if you're listening, tell Katie Lou to fire up the liveness on the website. Get you guys in some merch. Cleeter loves a good merch line. I love a good merch drop, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much with you guys on here. That's pretty much a home run merch drop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Motion, Cleater, KTR, they go together well. All right, Cleater, I got something I want you to look at because you're gonna. You're, this was gonna happen next December. Here we go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I ain't gonna do dirty like that. I won the Christmas tree race, man. <laughs> well, they're all right hey, out of race my any shit, day. My shit's Dude, so if that happens, all the graphics are backwards. Dude, you have to bring Shadow to the Christmas tree, you guys. Now, Does that happen? I mean, locked yeah. in. You didn't call me out. Oh, locked in. I definitely will get crushed on the Christmas tree drag. I'll get you the date no, right man. now. You call out Mullet. You gotta show up. But you gotta be. But you gotta be on three fifteen. What if we? Uh, what if we were to? Um, you know, maybe. That would be and being on a slick. <laughs> That'd be worse. Yeah. What if we maybe took it to the Dragon Drive? <laughs> I like, that. <laughs> I like it. Put a radiator on it. Looks like, it. Hey, looks like Ryan, a Camino bumper on the back. <laughs> Ryan, if you're if you're watching, I'm gonna need a need a class five trailer hitch on the back of that thing. This guy, uh, dude. Hey, I even photoshopped. Put a radiator me, on. I even photoshopped me into your winter circle picture from World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Jack stand on the left. Dude, you can barely tell that's Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got two front tires in there. I think I maybe oh, missed really? that one a that's little a bit. Clean Photoshop. I'm, I'm popping a wheelie <laughs> in the winter circle. That's how fast this thing is. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's talk about the schedule real quick. This was our planned schedule for the Shadow 3.0. We're gonna kick things off at lights out 15. Um, then we're going to enter. We have been invited up until yesterday. I was not invited to the World Series of Pro Mod. Wes Buck gave me my invitation. I guess he found out I had a car. Uh, and that's going to be the first time you guys see that thing on big tires. We're going to run the Radio Outlaw Series. Uh, we're going to crush Scott Tidwell and all those guys in Alabama and his home state. Uh, Carolina Dragway, my home track. Finish it up at no mercy. And then we're going to do some outlaw drag racing with this thing. So this is the the for sure schedule may get some more stuff added in there and hopefully some more drudge race action. Um, but that's where you'll guys will see that hot rod. That's where I'll spend all Doug and Cletus's money. If they put me RVW, come on. <laughs> huh? I said, if they put me in the RVW car, I'm going to smack you around a little bit. Ooh, I see a side bit. I feel a side bit. One of the things on your uh, contract for this TV is that you talk more smack. So 2024, the year yeah. of Turn it up yeah. a couple of notches. Yeah, so um, we've been pretty subdued lately because we have not had a race car to talk shit about. Uh, but at the end of the show, when we get Donald Long on here, we are going to ramp up the trash talking, and uh, you guys are going to get a lot of the older Stevie Jackson coming back. <laughs> it's in my contract that I have to talk more shit, which is bad for most of you. Our corporate attorney actually asked us to log out before that happens, so... Yeah, me and, me and Garrett have got to sign up for that. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to sign off before Donald comes on because it's probably going to get a little stanky. <laughs> it's probably going to get stanky. I'm fired up, man. I, yeah, I man, don't we're, think we're there could be up. a cooler thing to happen to motion in 2024, even all things considered. So I hope we get to uh, park it in a winter circle, and I hope we get to see Cletus in the driver's seat at some point. Maybe we can talk you into that. Woo, I would love to get the Claytor in on. there. Come on. 
You ready? That'd make a pretty that'd good the, thumbnail. That'd be the car I'd want to go down in first. Yeah. You may want me to shake it down first and make sure it's got brakes and steering. Yeah. But you want to drive a fast hot rod? I want to get it fast before you drive it because when you get it, I want to blow your mind. Come on. <laughs> I'm ready. So y'all will see the cleater at some point behind the wheel of Shadow 3.0. <laughs> they'll have go. to close the gate. Like they'll have to shut the interstate down if you drive that car. <laughs> they almost did it at the Christmas tree race, dude. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that was bad. That's awesome. Hey, listen, we'll, we'll, uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you can do. Put her in the winner's circle, then I'll come drive it. You know, I want to make right, sure so it's a winner. You want a guaranteed winner, and then we can get you behind the seat. Yeah, come, come on. The wheel. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so one thing about – one thing I wanted to ask you about, and I've texted you about it lately – a lot of you people may or may not know up until recently that me and Cletus share a love for aviation, right? Uh, you actually took me flying the very first time I met you. Um, and I was, you let me fly your helicopter, which is probably not a good idea. Um, <laughs> you love flying more or you like hot rod more? Well, I definitely like racing more. Like, well, here, here's when I like racing the most, right? Like when it's like the middle of a, a race event, you're qualified, you make it through round one. All the guys are in game time mode. There's basically nothing on this planet that gets me more fired up than that. The, those times, like especially when it's like round three or round four, and your guys aren't saying shit. They're just working on them cars, dialed in, laser focused. That those moments, we're all looking at the data logs. Those moments, that's nothing. Nothing really gets me more fired up than that. But. uh aviation's close it's just you can't beat those days when you're out winning races i mean that's just it's when, too you, good. when you get your team in a zone where they're working like what you're talking about man it's beautiful there's nothing like it on the planet and when you can reward them with letting off the button at the right time and beating the guy next to you and meeting them down at the end uh, after the finals i mean honestly there is no better moment than that like, it just feels so good. I feel more pressure on the starting line from not letting my guys down than I do from beating the person in the other lane. Like, I really – when I'm yeah. up there, I mean, these guys have killed themselves in the shop and at the track. I do not want to let them down or be yeah. the reason they get let down. I think all of us have, have red lit and had to tell our guys, sorry, I suck. You know, it hurts. It hurts. But when it's, when you're right on the other side and you just barely beat that guy because of it, woo! Jr. Gray, if you watch, talking about it, oh, I've did it to you a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> eat. Is, J, is Jr. gonna come out out of hiding out from under the rock and join us next week, or is he gonna stay home and feed his donkeys and shit? You ain't gonna call him out if he does come. You have a grudge, race That's or? funny. I fucking will. You ain't gonna call him out. Look, I done took ten grand from the some bitch a couple times. So look, Jr., if you can find your way out of Gray, Georgia, and come on down to Bradenton, when I get done winning the Snowbirds, I will accommodate you on U.S. Friday. Street. Another ten or twenty. Oh, Snowbirds! Yeah. Oh, Jr.'s coming. Perfect, Jr. <laughs> then you've got to whatever five on twenty five hundred, whatever you want to do. Whatever round of qualifying, y'all can get that hanky janky junky some bitch ready to come to <laughs> that, 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 that clapping, clapping sound that thing makes. All right, I think Doug and I have to sign <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, this is that point in the evening where the parental advisory comes back out and all the people that can get sued have to go to bed. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, JR, next week, you got action if you want it. But I understand if you don't. I done took your mortgage payment from you a couple times, so you just let me know. You got my number. <laughs> Oof. You heard it here folks, first, folks. But let's win the snowbirds first, and then we can play around. So, is you said Jr. is coming to World Series of Pro Mod, or you say he's coming to coming to next I, week? Cody said he's coming next week. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can get a pot up on that. The fans want to see that. Don says his phone's broke. He don't want none of that hot rod. I'm, I'm, I get the pleasure to drive right now. That thing's bad. Well, you know what, Garrett? I do want to mention that all of this came together because of you having a darn Crown Vic race. So, 
this, this is where this all this is, it all started here. I feel like a lot of good things have started at the Freedom Factory, and this is another one. Here's a, my, my next wow. question: Get to come back? Or are we banned? Yeah, dude. Hey, we need to line that up. I mean, I know you guys are always out drag racing. I, I'm down to line it up. This time, I need whatever we're going to race. I need to have that for seven days in my shop before I bring it down. Yeah, see, here's the deal. Yeah. I mean, I don't want you guys making your car slower than the rest of the pack. I can't. <laughs> <let you go. laughs> hey, I'm going to put some of them go fast motion parts on there. That or it'll blow up the first lap. I got it. <laughs> it, it could be both. Now I'll get you guys back out there. That hey, the quickest car has the shortest fuse. That's, that's true. Don, put that <laughs> on merch idea list. <laughs> put that on the list. And I'm, well, driving, I'm driving the first leg this time because I want there to be something left over. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 I screwed up my drive. I told Lyle, I said, I think something's wrong with the tires. He said, yeah, they're burnt all off because you're sliding around like a hillbilly out there. <laughs> that, you're slipping and sliding in your own fluid. <laughs> Never smooth as fast. Smooth as I, fast. I think they left the radiator clamp loose, is what I think happened. I think somebody come by and sabotage it. It could have happened, honestly. Yeah. Could have happened. <laughs> um, right. I am excited about this race. I appreciate you guys coming on. Do you guys have anything you want to say? You got any sponsors you want to plug? You got any new news you want to talk about? Yeah, I'll plug my sponsor, Motion Raceworks. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be a big win in year for motion. <laughs> I think it's going to be an unstoppable force from all fronts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, without, without having to say it, I'm fired up. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. We've been talking about it for a long time, but seeing those parts we made for that car go down the track, you know, just being seeing that thing in the winter circle, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, um, is, Motion stepping into the pro mod parts market. I mean, we already have, right? Right, we are. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we ramming that thing off the cliff? It's a terrible market to be in. There's only it's a few terrible. people. It's like, terrible. From an economic standpoint, it's the dumbest business decision, but we do love it. So we're already here, and we're gonna we're we'll keep making them. Yeah, we're here. So, like, yeah, that that's the answer to that. Hell yeah, Don says he's already got our the quick as our car to shorter to few shirt coming. Seeing if we got any comment, any uh questions from the fans in here for you guys. So, yeah, everybody loves y'all. I think everybody loves y'all more than they love us. Well, that's fine. Do the mini <laughs> ones again. Me and Lyle don't need a minivan. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to just give us the rights to the show, we're happy to do it. It, it's you, you, you don't want the death threats from this show. See, like your fans all love you, our fans all want to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> they like you, I think. Uh, oh man, is this the biggest show you've had yet? Uh, a hundred, yeah. Well, Scotty had uh, some uh, peaks of this, but average is the biggest show we've had. It's, yeah, uh, Scott yeah. is that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Talk about. Has literally nothing to do with me, but I'll clap for that. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Scotty's show is pretty epic. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to beat some of the some of the guys that, that fathered the sport. Scotty's good, and we love having him. We're gonna. He's uh he'll be in Bradenton this week, uh, racing, and um, it's gonna be fun to watch them watch him and Bubba get that the handle on that thing. Hey, this guy said uh, when's Cleese gonna build a Pro Mod Superbird? The answer is we'll find out once I drive Shadow 3.0. All right, so we're gonna. So that's the process. Win the first race, cleater test pass in the wheel, break the world record, build pro mod. <laughs> so all right, nice. you just got to turn all the way up. That's I don't nice. have a knob down, so that like, I like good. get it where it's at. There's no easing up for you. If people knew how many times we talked about pro mod superbirds, Garrett, <laughs> I know, I know, it's so tough it's to a, decide. An unhealthy amount of conversations, really. <laughs> I just don't know if they look cool enough. It's like I love the idea of it, but is the Pro Mod Superbird really the, the move? It's definitely better than an El Camino. It's definitely it's better like than an air, from an aerodynamic standpoint. You know? Listen, all I'm saying is I would I would 100% start right now if I could get a Crown Vic carbon fiber Crown Vic body for a Pro Mod. I've been trying to get a Pro Mod Fox body body for 10 years, so I'm feel your pain. Oh, I want Dan's a 12 inch Fox body. I thought you had one. We well, we were somebody was going to build one. I don't think they ever did. Perfect. No, hey, what happened to your burnout truck? 
Hey, so I'm working on it. We're working on it. I actually hired somebody to help me finish it, and we're working on it. Like, who did you hire? I mean, <laughs> who did you hire? Hope you're not paying them much. The problem, <laughs> the problem with drag racing for a living is it takes over your whole life. So then, like, when the car runs bad, the burnout truck's not going, but it's coming. I'll tell you, like I did everybody else, we're closer than we've ever been. We might have to send the dream team up there, Garrett. <laughs> Yeah, send that thing down. I'll have it done tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'll have it there. <laughs> hey, we're coming to Florida on Sunday. No problem. Oh, hey, you know what? While you're in town, I, you're fired, so sorry. I desperately need help tuning uh, Kill a B. Okay. Like, I, I can't get the thing to run good, and I need someone that knows at least something about superchargers. Like, I know uh, something about superchargers. I will, when I get there, this week I will come. I don't know if I can fix it, but I'll try. <laughs> no, it runs good. It's just when it's wide open throttle about a minute into the burnout, it just sounds like it's I don't know, there's fireballs coming out. It's 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 either rich or lean. You know, there's only one way, one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? I've got I've got, I've got it, I've got it figured out. We'll go to the burnout pad and you just ride straddle of the blower on the windshield. And about a minute in, I'll tap the top of it while I'm on the floorboard and tell you, hey, this is around the time. And then you just start turning knobs. You want me to just freaking, hit the barrel valve or something or whatever yeah. on it for a little yeah. bit? Yeah. That'll All work. right, Garrett, order some extra tires. We'll get some methanol coming and we'll, we'll be ready. Well, here one thing we need to find out, though, before we come in town is I know that James drilled the jets. So we need a fresh set of jets because <laughs> – the so fact, we, that, James, the fact that James even touched the fuel like jets on it means they're done. You know, they're toast. Yeah, I'm, I thought you were kidding. You're actually serious? He drilled the jets? He actually, I know, I saw him with a drill <laughs> bit and a jet in his hand. So he said, yeah, I'm just cleaning it up. I, you know, the thing's probably done for it. So after the DeWalt, did it run better or worse? Nope. You know, honestly, it didn't get worse, but it did not get better. That's for <laughs> damn sure. That's for have gotten worse. <laughs> it runs pretty good. It's just not, you know, it's not what it should be. All right. Send me a picture of the jet so I can make sure I bring the right one, whether it's a drop in or a screw in. And when I come down, we're going to work on it. Okay. Well, it's got, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, no, last time Stevie was in town, you got toast running right. That's right. Well, more has it, dude, that thing, I literally have not done anything to it since. It is still running from the day you adjusted the barrel valve. Never have I done a single other thing to oh, it. I, I can touch a blower motor and it still keep running. I want to let everyone know that. I have touched a blower motor and it continues yeah. to perform. He sucked on the barrel valve and then it's ran perfect ever right. since. Yeah, I got it right. Got it tight and right. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Uh, last question before we go. We got to get Duck on. I need to know, both of you guys, I need to know your fajita preference. Do you love fajitas, hate fajitas? I'm pro fajita right off the bat. What the hell? A pro fajita. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh, I, already know you're pro, I already know you're pro fajita Listen, we've been out to eat. Dude, I, I, order fajitas, I order fajitas just for the attention. So when that, <laughs> when that plate comes out sizzling, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the restaurant's looking at me. I flip them off and say, "Nice fajitas, loser." I want to. <laughs> I'm not joking, you, Lyle. Before you go into whatever the hell you're gonna rant about, the day that Cletus signed on the motion, we got fajitas as a celebratory dinner. It's true. I swear to you. I swear to you. And we talked about. We love the show. <laughs> one, one, we're making terrible financial decisions based off of that now. And also, there's something in all three of you have in common. You're all pro fajita, and y'all have shitty fucking beards. So we can't all have good right. looking beards. Stop eating fajitas. Those things it, it corrodes. Whatever. Well, <laughs> some of y'all never had the genes to grow a fucking beard in the first place. But fajitas isn't helping anything. That's uh, mad. See, I don't eat fajitas. Nice, big, and luscious. Y'all do eat fajitas You're like a mangy rat. <laughs> fucking get your life. You to do it. it. Is, you know what I got to put up with all the time? This is abuse. Well, that's I mean, that's what, you get. that's what you get for eating it fajitas. It always beers. comes back to the beard as well. It always what kind comes of question is that, dude? <laughs> fajitas. From now, every time I order fajitas, I ask them if they can sprinkle some extra, extra steaminess in it. Like I, want it I want the wear the big sombrero when they come 
Um, play the mariachi. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm going like this when they, if I'm not wafting it out of my like oh, trying God. to get it. Are these yeah. things still cooking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on an island, bud. You're on an island. Uh, At least I got a good beard. That's right. All right, guys, we really appreciate you guys coming on. If we can do anything for you, let us know. Uh, hopefully, we can have you guys back soon. I, I know you guys both are really, really busy, and I appreciate you taking time out of your out of your busy schedule. I'm not busy, brother. We're here to Thank party. you, gentlemen. Eat. Here, brother. All right, love you guys. We'll talk to Thanks you soon. Thanks for having us. We'll love see you. you. Bye. All right, Lyle. Uh, Matt, throw up the parental advisory warning. You might can we make it small and just leave it up in the corner? There you go. Oh, it's up there. Perfect. Okay, so we got to roll back through some of these comments because with those guys on as hot rod as it was, I don't know that we there's no way we got to all that. We got Donald coming on and I want to make sure we don't leave anything open ended before we get there. Let me see. Man, there's a lot of them. You know, it, it amazes me how many people truly like fajitas. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it, it kind of baffles me a little bit. But you know what? It is what it is. Maybe you're just wrong, Lyle. No, no. Maybe nobody, not, maybe not everybody can be cool like me. Mm, there's a lot of hate going on here. I see I getting called out by Spencer. All right, so I, my car's not even painted yet, and he wants to lock me in on his first time on big tires. I might do it. I can't. I don't know if I can outrun it. <laughs> In in a week, I don't know if I can outrun it. What say you, Lyle? I got to get it cranked I'm up. Still, I'm still hot. I'm running like the fastest screw blown hot rod right now, and I haven't even started the car. I'm still stuck on the the comment you made earlier about the screws didn't need 25 pounds. Well, it's it's. I'm biased, of course, because I have a screw blower, but. I don't know. They, I don't. I, I don't understand why the Pro Charger gets to weigh fifty pounds lighter than a screw all the time. I just. I, I don't. They make the similar power. It's the Pro Charger's easier to race. I don't know. If I ran a Pro Charger, I'd probably think the other way. But I don't know. All right. With no further ado, it's time to bring on the master of disaster, the man who is the absolute promoter of the century. This is going to be nasty. Are y'all ready for Donald Long? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> God, that right is, off real. That's that's to all my no prep fans. <laughs> all right, we've got the parental advisory on. Okay, right. this is the time where the children, if your children are watching the YouTube channel, send them to bed because I don't want to hear another word from my mama about this, what's about to happen. Couple couple things. First of all, I want a big. Shout out to Motion Race Works. I'm the only one don't have a hat, obviously. So I'm gonna get you one. Anyway, Doug helps us out too, so I want to give my boy. But I am glad that the Disney Channel's over with, so we can move on to important things. But I do have, um, I do have, I do got to go back just a little bit though, because I've never addressed this fajita deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and address this fajita deal real quick. I've never been able to outrun Stevie Fast heads up, but I will promise you this. I'll take you to the absolute best fajitas anywhere in the country in Zephyr Hills. I'll promise you that right now. I'll put these fajitas up against any ones you ever had. So I don't know where you're saying the best fajitas are, but I'm telling you right now, we got that covered. The best fajitas are at the bottom of the trash can where they belong. Wow. That's hateful, Lyle. Very it's hateful. Fucking true. <clears throat> you like fajitas, you got a shitty beard. So there. <laughs> hey, look, that's four that's four for four. Well fans, I'm glad you, I'm glad actually you brought up beards. Stevie, do I have your attention? You do. Okay, so I before we get on to all the other bullshit, I, I do gotta talk about Stevie's deal here. So Stevie Fast, right? Like that's a that's a household name, right? It's it's a, a freaking icon, right? But here's the deal. When Stevie, when he left, the prodigal son left, right, in return and now. But, you know, he, he, his name was Stevie Fast, right? Yep. But he gets over there, and we got, we got beards, we got button-ups, and we dropped the eye. And, and this, this Steve Jackson shit, nobody wants to see Steve Jackson, okay? 
They want to see Stevie mother effing fast. And I don't understand. Like, still to this day, it says Steve Jackson racing. Your fans want Stevie fast Jackson, though. So drop drop the button ups, the black slacks, and all that other shit you've been wearing over there at NHRA. And let's get back to business. I don't know if you saw this schedule, but there's (laughs) not enough. There's not a Nahara race on there. So I'm going to get me some jean shorts, all right, and a tore up shirt, and I'm coming to crush the radio world. And here's the deal, too, you know. It's like the guy also comes out of the weeds, right? I mean, here he couldn't even have just a radio deal, right? I have to have Wes Buck sliding up out of the ditch, right? Oh, let me send Stevie Jack, Stevie Fast, the freaking thing, like, he, he couldn't just let all the glory be over here. You know, let me ask you a question. How many Stevie Fast Jackson posts have they had over on their website in the last freaking two weeks? I mean, my website, Stevie Fast, everything, right? <laughs> this guy slides in with some kind of freaking overnight FedEx special package and is going to try to slide in there with, and get my man, just to try to <laughs> snatch my man right back out. So uh, I'll have a little problem with that, to be honest with you. But you Are you going to – gonna- you gonna dress that? I'm just saying, if you want to throw on those big rubbers and go over there and all that, I shit. am making my return to drag racing at your race. Yeah, well, I seen you slide in that big tire shit right after that too, and I thought we was past all that. Well, I got to get the hundred thousand, and then I'm coming back radio racing the whole rest of the year. All right. I wish they'd let me run the anyway, little tire. Can I see the rendering of the car? Can I can I see it myself one time? Yeah, you want to see it? It'd be nice. You got to be careful. It's sexy. That's pretty good looking. Hold on a minute. You might want to, I'm going to need some private time for a couple minutes. That's a little tire on there. No, that's a, that's a little tire. That's it does little not tire. look like a radial on there. Well, I mean, I, it's a, it's an artwork. I can't. I'm not good with Photoshop, but it is a radial. Got a radial wheel. No wheelie bars on there. See that? See that? That's Some a radial. Bar. So who, a radial. Who, here's a new shirt for you. If it ain't KTR, it's POS. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? That one. That's, that's trademark copyright. Duck X Productions. Wait, what does that look like? Okay, that that looks like a radio. Okay, that's good. It, it is a radio. I hope it's yeah, not in that yeah, same. Con- I, ho- I hope it's not in that same condition right now. Uh, it pretty much is. It actually looks worse than that right now. We'll have some actual photos uh, of the finished product. Hopefully, hopefully in two weeks. How many days we got till Q one? I think we got like 40 days or something like that. 38 days. Boss sex has been posting. I don't know. All yeah. What, uh, what, what'd you tell me today about chassis shops and taking a long time and how long stuff takes and why we got to wait to the last minute? They all suck. <laughs> no, that's not ch- true. They're all busy. I'm serious. Chassis shops, engine builders, freaking um, paint people. They all suck, man. I mean, there's like, okay. No offense. So I don't want to get nobody in trouble here, right? I'm just, and I have no idea about none of this. From the first day you dropped off a deposit somewhere to get your car done, how long has it been? A year, uh, a year and nine months. Yeah. Merry Christmas, right? A couple of times. But I will say that we're doing more than you would normally do on a normal car. I didn't build this to run like all the mother heaps of radio cars you got out there. We're not building to be in the average side of life. 362 is not going to win RVW anymore. Like so we're not going, we're not eating nachos you, and going out the track you, or any of that. Stuff. What are you trying to say about the RVW caliber cars now? I'm just saying they're going to have to step up. You better look out. Paulo Juice going to whoop that ass. Things have gotten a little on the soft side since I left, since I got crippled and financially ruined. Lyle, are you going to drive anything at the race? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he bringing a car or no? Never know. I don't know. I hope, I hope he drives something that Tidwell owns with a screw blower in it. It's what I hope happens. That way I can line up against my buddy and show him who the real Alabama Slammer is. 
Did you, or did, you not, <laughs> did you or did you not say that if anybody came and sat just like you, they cannot beat you? If they come screw blower for screw blower, nitrous for nitrous, pro charger for pro charger, what's going to happen? They cannot outrun me. They can always beat me. I can suck at driving it that day. But they come in and bring a screw blower or a roots blower, whatever I got bolted on there, they are not going to be faster than me. Lyle, where are you at on it? Heard it here first. Only time will tell, Duck. Only time <laughs> will I ain't tell. saying Lyle can't smack me around on the tree, but uh, I'm going to say he ain't going to outrun me. We ain't going to be out qualified or nothing like that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's also a lot. What I need to know. All right, so we just announced I'm coming back to racing. This is a big deal for me. It's taken me a long time. Honestly, and, and, you know, I don't want to make everything about funny. I want to be dead serious about a couple of things. Um, You know, and I'm not just saying, I know everybody's going to say I'm swinging from Stevie's nuts left and right, and I'm going to have, I'm going to get freaking seasick and motion sickness and all that. But I'm just going to tell you right now, I mean, y'all heard the thing like, um, and, and this, I know the racers are going to, racers are going to kick me in the nuts over this deal. But, you know, it's like, it's like that plane crash when they talk about when the music died and stuff, right? And you had, you know, some of the best people, like, right? and when Stevie Fast left Radio Racing, that was a freaking really bad deal for Radio Racing. I'm not trying to make you feel bad just because you messed everything up, but I'm just saying it was a really bad, this is a, um, what the hell is this guy doing? Trying to turn my battery charger on so I don't die. And I don't need to see your bedroom or whatever you got going on over there. It's kind of personal. Um, no, it was a bad time, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, we had a lot of fun. But I'm telling you, we have to have some characters. We have to have, you know, some Stevie Fast Jackson in there. Um, we just do. And people who don't understand that, um, I, I hope they do understand that, you know, the, the sport needs that. And uh, the sport's been missing something. And so – I'm hoping that um, Stevie don't come in here and let us down, maybe look like a jackass or something. There's a, if they're going to get me, they're going to have to get me early on. Because <laughs> nope. once I get to like make a few test runs, all the getting's going to be done, done be got. Well, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I know that um, competition. You know, listen. Here's the whole thing. The only reason people are always like. Oh, you know, I keep hearing about this 340 shit, right? The only reason that RBW isn't going probably 340 flat right now, honestly, is because every time Stevie or or anybody showed up to go that fast, you know, we've kept putting weight on these cars. You know, we've made them only go. But I honestly believe that even at the weights the way they are right now, I still believe they can go high 340s. I mean, what do you think about the, the time, Steve? I, th I think that with the correct conditions, especially if we had a nitrous car, like if we had a nitrous car, it'd just run 340s on three kits. But with the rules the way they are right now, with the right conditions, yes, 340s are there, high 340s. You just got to be perfect. You got to have a good racetrack. And when you're talking about what you're saying earlier, um, I love radial racing. I love small tire racing. I love grudge racing. I miss the fans. And I'm coming back radial racing because I'm, I miss the fans. I miss hanging out with the with the folks that build the sport and carry the sport on their back, um, and, and I, I can't wait. Like this this thing, starting out competition at your race is not accident. Like this was planned, um, and, and I'm what what I'm hoping is that some of the competitors can get some thick skin, uh, and we can we can get some 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 side bets going, a little grudge racing, bring back a little bit of the old days. Well, and. Honestly, I mean, I miss, you know, I, I miss the Keith Haney time, you know, that little midget. If we had him back, that would be cool, you know. Um, Keith Barry done, you know, he's done, you know, went into freaking AA and all that other bullshit, carrying around a freaking coin and shit, you know, for three or four years. You know, we need him to fall off the wagon. You know what I'm saying? We need him to freaking go back doing shots, not really knowing where he's at, freaking coming out there talking shit. You know, those were good times, you know. Stumbling out. I need Keith Haney to come back so I can beat him out of another hundred thousand dollars grud racing and buy my house, a new house or something. I, I think there's I think they're scared of it. Honestly, they are scared. I'm see what's gonna happen. Um I know there's some tough competitors in RBW. Um it really has been starting to I think this last year, right? I mean, we've seen it start to build back up. You know, there's 
you know, I, I really do believe it's going to be a tough run. You know, I really do. I think that, um, you know, Tidwell, you know, he'll spend more money than probably anybody. Even it don't matter. He's going to he, he ain't going to be able to stand it. That if you come out there and beat him, he's not going to be able to stand it. Uh, Petty's going to be over the pond fishing. There's going to be like there's going to be a lot of bad shit going on. I'm just telling you right now. It, it It's going to be bad. So I'm curious to see the um, the Tidwell and the, and the PLR and versus the cage guard we and we have we need that you know you bring the or needs that you're, you're gonna you're gonna bring the competition um to it you know you're gonna push everybody to go faster that that's what's gonna be kind of in my thing i'm gonna look at the et to qualify from last year going in this year and i guarantee you as soon as you're there um if um and i don't know what manny virginia's bringing to but he might be bringing an rbw car also you know um i know mo hollandham's talked about bringing another rbw car um, you know, Jason Lee's going to be there. I mean, there's there's quite a few cars that are coming in there that I think they have the potential because they're going to spend the money. So we'll see what happens. But I am I am kind of curious where everything's going to end up at. Do you do you have? I, I know I have got a lot of calls in my business in KTR about folks wanting to come radio racing. Where's the health of drag radio racing right now? On the way up, stagnant, down. Um, where are we at? So not just RVW, but all of it. Where are we at? So if you go by, you know, from a promoter standpoint, I got to go by ticket sales and entries. Right. And so if you look at and, and it's weird, but if you look at um at pre COVID numbers, right, say 2000 or um, yeah, 2018, 19, 20, it kind of it kind of was just leveled off. Um, I'm not going to say it was falling, but it was it wasn't going anywhere. Um, after COVID happened, um, uh, it darted up. And so I'm going to say the last, it, it's, it's on the way up for sure. Like you can see, uh, ticket sales, entries, um, and not just obviously, you know, RBW, obviously, you know, LDR is, is a great class, um, which we do need to address that. So let me ask you this. I keep hearing every time I, I mention Stevie Fast. I got to keep hearing all kinds of shit about, well, Stevie Fast has been there all year. You know, he's been helping out on freaking, um, you know, with this car, with that car. He helped with Timmy Meisner and RVW. You know, he helped Henderson and, you know, what's going on with all that. So tell the people the real story. What are we going to see in LDR? Are we going to take the gloves off and what are we going to do? So I've had a long time relationship with Chad Henderson. Everybody in the sport, especially the radio racing community knows how nice of a guy Chad is. Lyle, you're good friends with Chad. Everybody, If anybody doesn't like Chad, they're probably a piece of crap, pretty much, because Chad's one of the nicest guys in the sport. With that said, <clears throat> the Buick uh, has been raced as a hobby car for a long time. I came to Chad at the end of this year, and I said, the only way that I can keep doing this is if we can go race your car. He said, what do you mean? I said, I, I need to go and race it because – you know, we don't test that thing. Well, we're definitely on a, on a tight budget with it, which a lot of people are. That's not a, not a complaint. We don't have a lot of spare parts, but I kind of explained to him, um, that as part of our brand, we have to go out and race it. We have authorization to race Chaz Henderson's car this year. And what that means is the gloves are off and we're going to see how fast the Buick will go. I'm going to race it like it's my car until they fire me for tearing up everything they got. So we're gonna see if uh, if if a if an actual racing it approach picks up the Buick. I want to see them win. They deserve to win. Chad's been driving good. We've been making good runs. We've just been behind. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can hit the old main jet a little bit and see if it'll perk up. I can't wait. You're gonna find out next week. Okay, so that's gonna be at U.S. Street then. It will be at U.S. Street the Buick. Again, it's kind of like my car right now. The engines apart, transmissions are apart, torque converters apart. It just left the chassis shop and it's got to be rewired. But by Q1, we'll be at the track. Well, I look forward to seeing it because honestly, Chad is a good dude. He does deserve to get into the winner's circle, and I hope you can put him there for sure. You know, I'd love to. I'd love to see them. Uh, it's a. They are a great family, man. Not you know, not blowing. Yeah, salt and earth right there. Good folks. What? Do you think that Pro 270, do you think LDR, this is the way I view radio racing when we're talking about the health. LDR should be springboarding folks into Pro 275. Pro 275 should be springboarding folks into RVW. Is that where we're at? Or we pussies. got <laughs> pussies. What? Pussies. Uh, 
Do you think that we're going to have? I'm, not, I'm just going to be straight with you. I mean, you you asked me to be straight with you. I'm going to be straight with you. There's people in RBW. There were people in RBW, and they're scared. They're chicken. So what they did was they moved down to Pro 275. And that honestly, I mean, it's like you know, if you're a heavyweight fighter, you, you can't. You know, it's one of them deals where they they went they were weighing 240 in there fighting, and they're like, man, I can't do this. They go down to about a buck sixty, look like a bunch of Ethiopians, and they boom, they jump into a different deal. And it's a great class. I love Pro 275, but some of the bitches don't need to be in Pro 275. It's like you said, when you're, you know, you should be going, you're starting off in Ultra Street, right? Boom. Then you move to X275. Boom. Then you move to LDR. Boom. Then you move to Pro 275. Boom. Then you move to RBW. You know, and there's people, you know, you take like Norman Bryson. Norman Bryson would never step down. He's going to, he'll spend whatever. It doesn't matter. He'll blow up a million things, but he's going to run RBW. That man is like 100%. I'm running my shit RBW. And that you got to say, you got to say, hey. That's a hell of a man, right? Like he's not gonna, he's not giving up, putting them little freaking tiny little tires on there. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm serious. I mean, the guy's like, I will freaking blow up everything I have, but I'm running RBW. I'm not running the hide. So I'm not saying everybody in Pro 275 is running hide, but there are a handful of them, multi-millionaires, that should be in RBW. How do we get them to step up and enter RBW? Cause that's what I want to do. How do we get all the people that are hiding down there? Cause it's safe to come run the big boy class. We're going to have to beat the shit out of them until we talk them into it. Like we <laughs> normally do. We'll just put our foot on the neck and press <laughs> on that bitch until we hear some cracking. <laughs> so you start just, like, hitting the press point? And then my big ass, I'll just twist it a little bit and get them on over there. You know what I mean? There's it's like, sometimes it's like a cockroach. You just, <laughs> you just got to step on it, you know? How many cars are in Pro 275 estimated that need to be in RVW at lights out? I'm gonna say if you have a I'm gonna say if you have a 32 car field, um seven. Okay. I'd say there's seven, there's seven solid people with the money and the knowledge to run an RVW. But here's the deal, trip. Here, here's the deal. Okay, let me just show you something. Right, look, Steve. So if you got this big old trophy, right? Got yep. This big old trophy, and you're petting it, and it's like your little, you know, pet and all that, and you got it. You got a little leash on it, and you're moving it around, showing all your friends they come over for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, let me show you my little trophy, all that. But they know if they're an RBW, they're not gonna have that trophy. You know what I mean? They're gonna have not got that trophy. It's a little hard to get over there. So listen, here's the thing about multimillionaires. This is awesome, right? Oh, yeah. This, is, this, is, this has happened, right? Let me just tell you this. People ask me too, hey, Duck, why don't you pay back, right? Why don't you pay $1,000 to qualify? I, always, I kept hearing, you know, pay $1,000. Let me just tell you this, dude. These sons of bitches will not even come to the tower to collect that money, right? They won't. They won't do it. If they, if they don't win, this an ego. It, that ego is it, That ego is up here, bro. Like, I mean, it's so far, it is up here, bro. So, even if they finish second, they won't. I got second place trophies all over. They won't even come up and get them bitches, dude. I'm telling you right now, that shit. They're it's the they're packed up, out right out the gate, mad, right? But that that trophy eludes them, right? So here's the deal: they're gonna move down whatever class they have to, some of them, to get that trophy. So they want that hat. It might not say RBW on it, but they're like, ah, you know, it's got. They got RBW car on Ultra Street <laughs> pulling down that big Texan hat, you know. So, anyway, I'm just saying this. If you belong up there, it's time to move up there, right? I mean, let's let's get where you belong at. So, yeah, there's – I believe, personally, there's seven – and here's the deal. Take – um, I mean, here, you got to give it to the guy. Now, this guy shouldn't even be in there, right? But if you see Enzo Pacini, right? Enzo Pacini – don't even have an RBW car. That bitch for two years, three years, like, I'm not running. Any Way longer than that. Way longer than that. RBW. So Enzo just stick with it, right? That's so, Canadian Italian stallion. So you have Norman Bryson, right? You have Enzo Bacini. Norman Bryson should be there, 100%, right? But Enzo Bacini really should. <laughs> he probably needs to be in pro He needs to swap with one of the freaking, the um, the chameleons that are, that are hiding down in there. <laughs> And swap that thing back over to RVW. 
So I, I think if you come in, I don't know, though. You know, you might scare away some people. That's the only thing that, that I'm wondering. You know, are you going to scare away? Or, I mean, if they're already afraid of everybody else in there, are they going to come in and race you now? I don't know. Do you have a – Do you have? A, I need you to go ahead and lock in a list of who you who's supposed to come to lights out. And if those jokers start diving, start swan diving into the inner tube of Pro 275, we're going to get on their ass. If I start if I start seeing some refund requests coming through, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know something's not right. You gonna know something something's crazy? Yeah, something's not right. Also, got to throw out a big thing. See, Mac Fab also my big supporter over there too. He ain't say nothing. No hat. I don't have no Mac Fab hat. I ain't got none of the freaking. I don't have none of the good hats. And the only person on your show, I'm not trying to listen. Cletus and and. Doug and you and all that. I ain't saying nothing, but I am gonna say this. It's kind of like RV. Okay, God, I hate to say, I hate to say this. All right. <laughs> no See, Lyle. Lyle is the RVW of fucking beards, right? That's he just is the RVW. Thing, right? You guys shouldn't be in that class. I'm just got to be honest with you. Y'all need to shave all your shit off. I'll shave mine off too because I ain't like Lyle neither. Right, but you, Doug, Cleto, Cheeto, all them people, shave it off. We got one guy, the RVW beard guy. That's him right there. Right. Everybody else, shave your shit off. Just saying. Well, so look, you're saying, look, all, all I'm saying is, <clears throat> I mean, I, I know you got a lot going on and shit, but you can bring your happy fucking ass over to my trailer where we're set up over there. Done paid you five or ten thousand dollars to be there and come wow. get. And come get you a damn hat. I gotta bring it to you. Well, I thought so. I mean, I I figured that a set of bead locks and so hell, you're never over there. You're over there hanging out with the Indian tribe over there with that truck. Easy, easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's, a, that's a sensitive subject right yeah. now. I think been been <laughs> boofing fajitas. You over there talking all crazy and shit. Listen, if I was. <laughs> Done text Kidwell about look, we need to gotta get the RVW set up back out from under the bench over here because I'm tired of listening to all this. Okay, are you coming to race something, Lyle? Never know. Woo! Woo! Never know. Woo! We're gonna get somebody locked in for lights out, I feel like, which is probably gonna be bad for me. The only Lyle. thing that keep us people, from people don't hate Lyle like they do you, Stevie. No. I know everybody loves I Lyle. 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 Hates him. I know if Lyle's gonna lock in. The only thing that would keep us from doing it, honestly, though, is the same car that I drive for the U.S. Streets in the World Series is also the RVW car, and I don't know that they are going to switch it back and forth, so I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I know. I would definitely fucking get rid of those other two races for sure. <laughs> Negative. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. Here. I'll, this is my magazine. If you win, I'll draw you a little thing on this paper and send it to you. Do you have you got any news of any uh folks coming to run RDW at lights out that we hadn't seen before in a while? I the don't Advanced listen. I know that there's some Cheeto eaters coming to run Pro 275. That's what that's what I, that's the word on the street. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. This is Pro 275 right here. Yeah. But no, listen. Watching Pro 275s like this. <laughs> Listen, I love Pro 275, but I think that Pro 275 needs to be for Pro 275 drivers. That's all. Pro 275 cars, not like Wolf and Sheep's clothing, RVW. That's why, you know, I like people that, you know, like uh, Brian Markowitz, and I like freaking Jason Lee, and I like – um Hell, you know, you look at Paulo Juice, you know, he's out there. He'll he'll do whatever he can to come and race RVW. You know, Norman Bryson, uh, you know, I want those guys in there. And I hope that the Mo Hall deal, you know, the Manny Virginia deal, I want all those, you know, because they, they do. They're the competition that we need. For sure. All right, I need you to take this question. We got a lot of people that want you to explain the Cheeto deal. All right, here's the deal. <laughs> you know, it's funny, but uh, you know, this is what I said from the very beginning, right? That that no prep show and all that bullshit, in my opinion, right? 
is solely Duck X Productions opinion, is that them and their fans are a bunch of Cheeto eating, Milwaukee drinking, ball scratching mother effers. And freaking that, and, and that's all I got to say about that. I mean, who don't like a good Cheeto every once in a while? But eating Cheetos and scratching your balls at the same time, they, it, it just don't go together, Stephen. It really don't. You got your hair in that thing, and you got your Cheeto, and the, the pubic hair is falling off of it, and you're drinking it down with a beer and a Milwaukee. And it, it's just like 90% of them wouldn't know a real race car, Stevie. I, I'm serious, man. Listen to me. How many of those fans do you really think know anything about drag racing? They, they don't, man. They don't know... They don't know shit about it's like this. Look. And that's just they're a bunch of Cheeto eaters, bro. I mean, I mean, I guess I should put it like in Lyle's terms, I guess they'd be a bunch of fajita eaters. But I mean, <laughs> in my deal, they're a bunch of Cheeto eaters, man. They they don't know shit about anything. They don't 90% of them don't, right? They I mean, man, I hate you're gonna get me in so much trouble. That's not trouble. Phil Schuler always says, if it's the way you really feel about it, say it. Where do I feel about it? I hate to say this. And I'm not going to say, listen, I'm going to throw, can I put up a disclaimer? Which one? Let's see if we, I, we you, need, you need a children's disclaimer. You need a. No, I just, listen, here's my deal. I think this is me from what I've seen. I think that show, right? That producer must have got with people and said, let's drive through the biggest trailer park, the biggest, dirtiest, nastiest trailer park with the biggest window shakers. And let's drive through there and find what kind of freaking white trash that we can put on this show. I mean, that, to me, and they did. They, they found some of the dumbest, dirtiest bitches I've ever seen in my life. And they threw them on this show, and it, I guess it's like a train wreck, bro. I mean, that there, and then I guess there must be a world full of them because every trailer park in the country is watching them too. I mean, they got those antennas on the side of the trailers with the the rabbit ears inside going, I guess, and that big antenna looked like a Showtime thing, and they're out there turning it and and tuning into that shit. And that's I, that's all I can say about. It. Not all of them now. I mean, there's a couple of good ones. Maybe. <laughs> hey, we're definitely getting shot, murdered, and killed. Oh, well, I'm just being honest. You said tell the truth. That's what all you right. said. So all you folks that were asking about the Cheetos, there you go. Yeah. And right. I mean, and I guarantee you, if you go into that trailer park, there's a vending machine, and it's just full of Cheetos. Is there anybody that's banned from the Cheeto eating competition at Lights Out? Yeah, anybody who has ever ran no prep, you can't have any professionals in there. If if you're if you're one of the fans or racers and ever been to any pre no prep thing, you, you're a pro, man. They, I can't have I can't have someone coming in here trying to snatch away victory from an amateur. You know what I mean? So you can't if you're sitting around and you got you look down your bag and there's pubic hair in there, then no, you're not allowed to, to enter the thing. I mean it. You, that's a bad mix, bro. It's like the fajita thing, like he's talking about. It's all mixed up in here. So the Cheeto competition at Lights Out 15 is an amateur entry deal. Yeah, we can't have somebody come in there. What kind of credentials do you have to have to enter the Cheeto eating competition? Look, but is it? <laughs> you never could have ever watched on TV because if they, if they, and I've never seen that show, but if they oh, see the audience and they see <laughs> one of the fans, they see one of them fans reaching in there doing this, then obviously, then they'll already know the competition deal. You know, so you can't have watched no prep. You've you watched it. You you fucking watched it. Ooh. Whether you're, whether you're in your John boat with your rabbit ears and your tube TV, robbing the internet from your neighbor or not, you've watched it. You've seen it. You've tuned in on a Tuesday night and watched no prep. Game. I've never seen it. I'm watching forensic files. I'll take a polygraph right now since I've never seen the first one ever in my life. I Come swear to God. I, I just from somebody that love that like that loves fajitas and has a shitty beard. <laughs> I, and you damn 25 cent gold chain. I, I guess I hit a nerve. He must have a cubic okay. hair in a Cheeto box or something. I don't know. Get out of here. But I, I'm just telling you, I've never listen. You can ask, I would 
if I ever even if, let me just tell you this. If I win, this is how this is how much of a non Cheeto eating bitch I am. If I walked into freaking a sports bar right now and they had some of that stupid shit on TV, I would walk my ass out. I'll go eat at freaking McDonald's before I would ever eat one of those places. If I ever if I go in there and it's got one of those stupid Cheeto eaters on there, I don't even want to have nothing to do with it, man. It's a disgrace to drag racing and, and it I don't know. Wally Parks is sitting around in his grave. Poor Wally. So all right. A bunch of people are asking about the you unlimited that race. Jackass, right? And I love him. But that jackass that sent you a private invitation, he put those stupid sons of bitches on the cover of a magazine, on a drag racing magazine, right? And then told me, hey, these guys are like the Beatles, right? <laughs> what? Are you out of your... Dude, have you lost your way? <laughs> you have lost your way, son. I mean, at, at what point is it okay to put a bunch of stupid people from the trailer park on the cover of the magazine. Oh. Are you? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I mean, they could have picked anything. Lyle, say what you're thinking. I would have put a boat on the front of the Drag Illustrated magazine before I put those jackasses. I got to go to bed at some point if I say what I think. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Doug, tell us about the unlimited race. Everybody wants to know when it's going to be. You I'm keep not going to be Cheeto eaters. <laughs> you still want to, All right, what, we'll finish off the Cheeto with what – so we got no Cheeto people that have watched the show. Nobody's listen, ever competed in a Cheeto race. I don't – listen, no pros. I'm just telling you right now. You okay. Can't have, you can't – matter of fact, I'm going to go one step further. If you've ever even dreamed about being on that stupid show – you're not allowed on this on the Cheeto eating competition. So it's three thousand dollars to win, thousand dollars for runner up, no pros, no pubic, nothing like that. And freaking, it's gonna be one ounce bag of Cheetos on the starting line. We're gonna have the table set up. Whoever wants to enter can lock in. They're gonna have to prove they ain't never had no dreams, no nothing with no prep, and we're gonna get them in there. Friday night, no Saturday night. One night we're going to do it anyway. Uh, Michael Brown, that is a negative nor will that ever happen. If y'all was going to beat me, you'd have to beat me before I got a car. I got one now, and that's not ever going to happen. All right, tell us about the unlimited race. All right, listen, here's the deal. You got, you got everybody buzzing about it. I done said that if they have an unlimited race, nobody else is going to win but me. Now I got a car. Tell us well, about that was them. the whole thing. You goaded me into freaking talking about this thing before everything was set. Before that's because I got fired up about it. Lyle, do you not get excited about running for two hundred thousand? Okay, Lyle, I are you going to put the Cheetos down and come to this one? Maybe. Will you listen? Okay, here's the deal. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe, motherfucker. <laughs> what? Maybe. All right, listen. Here's the deal. If Lyle does not qualify in the top five, he has to eat the fajitas on the starting line. Oh, look, I'm going to tell you, here's what I will tell you. If I come to that race in a car, I can promise you that I will qualify in the top five. I or you're going to eat the fajitas. Or I'll eat fajitas, but I ain't going to have to eat fajitas. <laughs> well, that bitch better be on radio. You'll, you'll be real lucky if I win that motherfucker. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. It seems like the Cheeto thing got him a little worked up. You didn't tell me we had some people on the, sh the show that was like trans that went both ways on the Cheetos. Oh, oh, oh damn. Oh, never mind. Confirmation. Okay. Confirmation 100% we will be there, Donald. So, uh, okay. That's okay. confirmed. All right. Here's the deal. So, can we get some information? Can we get a date? All right. Here's the deal. You come out down the starting line with oh, both of y'all. Hold up. Both of y'all. We, we got to find out what the other line. side of the way is going to be. the starting line with me. Cause no, hold up. If when I, when, when I do qualify in the top five, what are you going to do? You, you, you just you look. Pick, you, you, can't, you can't grow a beard. You can't grow a beard because you got a shitty one to start with and you eat fajitas. All right. So I think the opposite of the game right. is right. if you go top. Here's the difference. Those people you got on the program, they think they can grow a beard. 
And that's the difference. I know that I can't do it, Lyle. And I already said you're the RDW. You are the king of the beard. So they need to <laughs> shave their shit off, though, Lyle. They're embarrassing themselves around you. They probably don't go nowhere with you, do they? Because if you walk in, you see Lyle's beard, and then you walk in, Stevie, it's, that's, that ain't working out. Man. Michael Brown, I don't have a piece of shit, no prep car, but anytime you want to come race, I'll be available in four weeks. Um, and Michael Brown, you got the back tire. <laughs> Lyle, I think if you qualify top five, Doug eat. I mean, uh, Doug eats a whole bag of Cheetos on the starting line. Oh. The whole bag. All right, all right, yeah. I think that's a good bet. In in your whitey tidies, because we all oh. know that. That's pretty. That's the, that's over the line right there. There's children in the stands. We can't do that. Now, look, it'll it'll still cover his little shrimpy whatever he's got. Look, you're good. Sit your ass down in your whitey tidies. We'll keep Stephanie at the gate because she don't need to see that. We can't sit there on the starting we, line. We cannot do that. There's children at the race. I Thank can you. see, uh, Stevie. You didn't tell me that we did. The guy has feelings over here. I obviously have hit a nerd. He must be watching no prep on the side. There must be something I'm missing. Listen, I don't keep up listen. with the, the day in and out of Lyle, but I'm just telling you. I mean, all I've done since I got on here is praise his beard. And freaking this guy's like all over me ever since we brought up the freaking trailer park thing. The, all the window shakers and the trailer park and, the, you know, the good thing about those guys racing is, Stevie, is that they can just move their house from place to place anytime they get ready to to keep on going. <laughs> I think we'll move. Yeah, back up that thing with our uh, F-350. Get that <laughs> thing going. <laughs> yeah, when it, tell us about the unlimited race. You keep talking shit listen, about when is listen, the race? I'm trying to, but you keep the conversation because he knows there's a chance that I'm coming. You, oh. keep, you keep interrupting me. I'm trying to get to it. Okay. How much are we racing for? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. I was going right. to pay more, but we, you oh, want to well, a hundred hundred for the driver, hundred for the crew chief. Two hundred. Right? Yeah. That's what you said. Yep. Two hundred thousand. All right, me and Lyle, or me, Lyle, and you will go out and announce the date and the location during the race in February at Lights Out, and we'll have it. I'll have it all set for you, ready to go. All right, so in four weeks, we're going to get the date and the location. Absolutely, Absolutely. you heard it here on the Shake and Bake Show. And I don't want listen to me. I don't want no bullshit because I already have some people call. So I want to clarify the rules right now because yeah. every time the rules get moved around and I don't want to hear no moving around shit. Like I'm no serious. Shit. So I, so here's the deal, right? I announced the race or me and you, Lyle, Courtney, we announced we're going to have a race. Right. And then everybody's all keen about it. And then about like, even as up to yesterday, I got people calling, trying to manipulate the rules. Now there ain't even no rules. Right. But they're already trying to ease the rules in there, you know? And I'm just trying to figure, like, how, what, what is it? I mean, what was the deal, what I said from the very beginning, right? Basically, it has to be a door car, right? And it can be on any tire that you want to bring on. That's what I said. That's the rule. Any, any weight. What's he doing? Is he pushing a Cheeto button? I might be. I <laughs> might be. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I got loud. There's a little. Hey, I bet you check his temperature right now. That bitch is up right now. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna have what? to. Re hey, I'm gonna have to rewind this show and see his eyebrow. He definitely his eyes raised up on. Something. Oh yeah, just almost sure. about eyebrows, didn't you? <laughs> I, I, yeah, you had, you, had to, you had to surf back real quick. Well, I thought maybe you use a black marker. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> there we go, Stevie. Here we go. I, was, I wasn't what sure. I wasn't sure if he had a black marker. Look at you though. When I qualify in the top five, Duck's going to sit his ass on the start line. I'm going to shave his shit off with, with a Gillette five blade. And I'm talking about skin. You know, and then and then when I get him, when I get him just short enough, Duck, I'm going to take the nair and a piece of Charlotte. Hey, he's, hey, one, hey, obviously one of his buddies is on that show. <laughs> all right, back to the rules. First of all, I want to know who's trying to buy the rules. I want to know who's – are rules for sale at Duck X Productions? Listen to me. Always for sale. Are you kidding? <laughs> or who's I trying to buy the rules? Listen, I honestly don't give a shit who's putting in what amount of money. I do not care. The, 
listen to me. I don't bend. Listen, I get in trouble with turbo companies, supercharger companies, hell, nitrous companies. You know, here's the deal. Let me just tell all the companies one thing. Stop cheating, right? And we won't have no problems. That's all you got to do, right? I mean, because you can call it, um, what do they call that? Innovating. They call um, they whatever they want to keep calling it, right? But here's the deal, Stevie. If you make a class, okay, you, you just let me just. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have brought this up. I'm, <laughs> this messes me off right now. And Lyle's probably part of this, right? So if you take your car out right this week, and the rules are made. And your shit, supposedly they have everybody, let's say everybody makes around 3,500 horsepower, right? And they go, this is the rule. And then you take a new turbo next week and you bolt that on and it makes 4,000 horsepower, right? Obviously, that wasn't the turbo for the rule that was made, right? You understand where I'm coming from here? Yep. So, I don't understand how everybody just think that. And then it's like the racer, then it's always like, We've worked our ass off. My team is just, we've killed ourselves. You guys are penalizing us. No, you bolted on some goddamn cheater-ass turbos, picked up by 500 damn horsepower, and now all of a sudden you're mad because you got caught. That's what happened. You didn't do anything. You took four bolts off for a V-band clamp, bolted a bitch on there. I don't I don't understand how that's, but it's every time they're the victim. Have you ever noticed, Stevie? They're always the victim. Always the victim. Everybody loves you till you start telling the truth. Yeah, and then, you know, it's like whether it's NHRA or any class there is, right? It's always a new combination. Have you ever noticed that? A new product. Yep. We're bringing in, we're, listen, Stevie, look, we're bringing in this new product. Now, all we're trying to do is want to race fairly with y'all. We just want to bring this in, get a starting point for the weight. And you know what? If something ain't right, it's no big deal. We'll do whatever. 25 pounds? Are you out of your goddamn mind? I mean, they're flipping out, right? They get you to put some weight that's bullshit from the beginning. They lie to you the whole time. And then once they're in there, then it's like you're not allowed to go back the other way. Never, dude. Never going back the other way. I'm just telling you. Anyway, let me get back to the $200,000 race. Well, you guys got me all spun out on rules over here. So it's $200,000 in cash. Not no three-party out-of-state check with a hold on it. I've already seen y'all play that game before. We're not That's doing that. That's happen sometimes. Yeah. Um, and I want to find out who's the baddest. I don't care what it has. I don't need them to call me. Is this legal? Is that legal? If that bitch has got doors and it's a regular car. Now, I'm not talking about – and then you always got some idiot, right? There's going to be some idiot that posts a picture of a dragster with doors, right? There's always some Cheeto-eating, squirrely-ass bitch that's going to post some stupid-ass shit, right? So, like, whatever a pro mod, like, what's a what's a full length pro mod? Lyle, 112 you know, inches, 110. How many, Cheetos, how many Cheetos in 115 inch wheelbase? It a whole lot. Pile of Cheetos. So what what is the what's a what's the wheelbase on them, John? 110, 112 on an average car. What's the like? What's the biggest like? One sit 115 is maximum. Okay, so if you got a 115 inch wheelbase door car, and that bitch has got a freaking engine in that bitch. Whatever tire, it's got action. That's the rules. All right, that's I pretty simple. Anybody, I don't need anybody to call me. So we don't have to limit screw overdrive on that or any transmission gears or anything. Aren't you tired of people telling you what you can and can't do, Stevie? Isn't the whole world about what you can and can't do? Oh, you can't drive this fast, Stevie. Oh, you can't do this, Stevie. Lyle, you're not allowed to have. No, fuck that shit, dude. That bitch has got tires, and that bitch has got freaking doors on it, and it's within 100 gazillion wheelbase, whatever. Then that bitch is legal. I listen, and, and here's the other deal: people start, and, and I'm not knocking West or whatever, but here's your invitation right now: come and get the two hundred thousand dollars. Right? I'm not gonna come pat you on your ass. I'm not freaking. I, I don't give a shit because the baddest of the bad are gonna be there. You ain't getting no gold freaking Willy Wonka shit from me. You're going to have to come and freaking enter that bitch. You ain't getting in free. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pay your way, just like everybody else. If you don't pay anything, it ain't worth nothing. That's that's the whole thing I've always seen. If you can't pay, it ain't worth shit. So, Damn, if you, right. If you can't put up, I mean, listen, here's the deal. 
if you can't put up, let's say it's 500 bucks, right? If you can't enter for $500 to win 200,000 to leave that piece of shit, that Cheeto eating bitch at the house. Hey, uh, that, we got some comments. Is Frankie Taylor allowed in, if he brings a door car? Hell yeah, Frankie Taylor's allowed. That's what I thought. I was just making sure. What Donald's saying is, is it'll be an open invitation race. You'll be able to, you don't have to get invited. You don't have to know the guy that runs the race. I mean, you don't have to like, make a I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like Wes Buck trying to steal my thunder for lights out, right? He slides the invitation under the door at three o'clock in the morning. You know, your shop was closed down and freaking, he slides that thing under there. No, you don't need all that shit, bro. Freaking, if you're listening to this program, you're invited. Drag that bitch out. Lyle drop his Cheetos. <laughs> no, he's probably calling getting a car so we can come make you eat a bag of Cheetos on the starting line. I, I'm confirming that right now. <laughs> See, I, think I know my man. So what Doug, what Doug's trying to say for all the folks that comment, we're not going to exclude anyone from competing. Right. Listen, here's here's, here's, the, here's the good thing. If all those freaking aluminum window shakers want to bring any of that shit on down there, they can bring that too. <laughs> Woo. So I think we'll have a, all right. So here's what we know. We know that in four weeks we're gonna find out the location and the date of the race, the unlimited race. We have the rules pretty much sorted out. Doors, wheelbase, come to win. Right. Two hundred thousand dollars. And, and I'm thinking about even though you don't like them, I'm thinking about doing a freaking uh, wheelbase doors and two seventy five tire too for a different class. Not for that much money though. Maybe something to throw in there. You know for. Be pretty cool. They, they can groom the track for us. Yeah. <laughs> find find you permission from your boss or no? You ficking to find out. Ooh wee. <laughs> Ooh wee. Well, anyway, well, I got just a quick question before That's we get. What you've been saying the whole night, and you probably got me freaking. <laughs> probably got me in jail, Facebook jail. If there happened to be. If if I get my car done in time to test before I show up for Q1 and there happen to be a locked-in grudge race, you think we can squeeze that bad boy in and it lights out? Just if, if that were to happen. Listen, here's the whole thing. For Stevie Fast Jackson, I'll make it happen. Okay. If we get a couple of test passes. I mentioned Doug Cook, Motion Works, TVM Brakes, and all that. Or no? It's Motion Race Works. It's motion not- Race Works. Don't yell at me. Motion look, Race Works. Look here, Beardy. Fucking say it right. Yeah. Now, what's the Rife thing now? I don't know about the Rife sensors. Uh, so, Rife sensors is a division of Motion, uh, motion Race Works. Um, make data acquisition sensors, components, uh, a bunch of stuff for the for the data acquisition system on the car. You'll be able to see all of those on the Shadow 3.0 at Lights Out 15. <laughs> the exclusive, exclusive that data acquisition provider. All right. Now you got 10 bucks for all hey, that. The only thing, thank nasty. God for Doug, because here's the whole deal. Doug, I don't know if you got a chance to listen, but, you know, when he was away from us, right, it was Steve Jackson. And we need Stevie Fast back, right? Doug, thank God for Doug. If we can bring back, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. Never know. And, and, and D- Doug's – been very adamant about this and he told me when we did this deal he said if we're going down this road we're not politically correct we're not woke we are not taking shit from anyone anymore so you guys are about to see the whole unplugged deal and i apologize for it mama i'm sorry we're not cutting off our breasts or none of that no and we're using the guy's bathroom (laughs) we're gonna use the guy's bathroom well you got any you got any uh you got any info or not yet i mean i got plenty of info but that's neither here nor there. That means he's not allowed. Mm. I'm, I'm allowed. You just when when you get permission, you go look ahead. Hey, that. Go ahead. Don't, don't stutter. <laughs> no, when you, that's your that's your broadcast feed. I'm just saying when you're allowed, you get permission. Let me and Stevie know. It'll we'll be a be, car you've never seen before. What power adders are gonna have? It don't matter. Enough. That bitch better be in the top five or you're going to be fajitaing it up. Oh, man. Better hope it ain't or you're going to go home with no eyebrows. <laughs> and Cheeto dust all over your face. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag <laughs> I'm going to wipe them things off with some Sharma Ultra Quilted. I mean, can I tell you what Stevie Jackson's told me before? Sure. Money, don't buy, money ain't going to buy you top five, player. You're going to have to earn it, okay? 
<laughs> money will get you 80% of the way there. But that yeah. last 20%, you got to outwork me. And that four last of the percent right here, Duck. Bang. Oh, but the thing is, that don't matter. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the hell this is gonna help him. Unless he's flipping a Cheeto in his mouth, I'm not sure how this is gonna help him get the ET down. In qualifying, yeah, qualifying it. Qualifying don't win that two hundred thousand. It, it, it wins your ass out there eating fajitas, though. I mean, surely fajita, we, fajita we can, versus Cheeto. Four of them. Justin Swanstrom, the car will be done in time to beat the shit out of y'all at Lights Out 15 if y'all show up. Somebody come on there? Oh, it'll have a screw in it. Most of the, oh, most of the people have a screw like, in it. Listen, here's the deal. If Stevie, if Stevie runs Lyle, that's mano a mano. Stevie runs Justin, that's a mano a Cheeto, isn't it? <laughs> mano a Cheeto. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't get me killed. Mano a mano or mano a Cheeto. One of them's gonna happen. <laughs> if you don't get a mono a Cheeto t shirt, Stevie. Hey Don, put the mono a Cheeto on the merch idea list for the next drop. <laughs> See, there's folks that's been calling me out since my neck's been broke for the last 18 months, and I've had to listen to it. And there's some people that I can't jump on right now until I crank up. I can't just lock in Spencer Hyde, but I've never even gotten a body on the car yet. But there's a I lot of people that I can go ahead and lock in and say that they ain't gonna outrun me. So all you folks that have talked shit to me while I've been crippled and not have a car, I got you on a list, and we're fixing to start going down it. It's going to be like the 24 days of Christmas until we start and, racing. And, yes, for all y'all that ask, every time Lyle's picture goes black, he is eating a Cheeto. And then uh, he comes back. Not never in life. I can tell you're a Cheeto eating some bitch because if you show me where he ever has, then uh, we, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> And we can't count the one time I was driving somebody's car in Michigan and it flew through the air that wasn't my car. I'm tired of folks judging me on what other people got. You, you know the reason the Shadow 3.0 is going to be – it's going to run as good as it does is because I don't have to take concessions from anything. I don't have to run any piece-of-shit motor, ragged-ass transmission, or ragged-ass torque converter, or somebody gave me these shocks. I bought what I wanted to buy, and I'm going to show you all what an RVW car is supposed to run like. Oh. That's like a call out right there. I can't see the comments, so it's probably not good, is it? It's not too good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody say anything nice about me? Uh, no, no, not me. Not really me either. So okay. <laughs> I was just checking. Yeah. I was just checking. Listen, yeah. I want. Hey, hey, we got I the famous, the famous hate thing. thing you sent me the other day about the oil money. Yeah, that's in there a lot. Lyle, do I need to call anybody up to see if we can get that thing out of the garage or are you going to be okay? I mean, you know who to call. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I understand. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what you're saying is with a phone call, he can find out the answers that we right. all see. I, I, and and I, I don't mean when we get off. I don't mean when he goes ask Stephanie if he can get more minutes on his Walmart phone. I'm talking about right now. You can make that phone call and figure it out. Right now. Well, right now we're locking in two hundred thousand dollars. So, I mean, I know your guy don't need that, but he ain't gonna have that trophy if he don't show up. I can tell you that right now. Have no more miss Walmart phone. Have have the have good thing is, in thirty-seven days, we all gonna find out. Because I can tell you right now, you have seen the kind of trophies and the freaking thrones and shit I got. The thing I got, thing for that deal. Oh man, yeah, you are gonna want triplets of this shit. I promise Ooh. you that. You gonna want one for the team owner. You gonna want one for the the guy doing the tires. The one freaking waxing the car. All that shit. But yeah. I'm just telling you. Unless y'all can't make it, get a bar mitzvah or going on a honeymoon or baby shower or something like that. Something important. Hey, no, no prep. Um, I can tell you right now, there's a bunch of folks with that's got a high level of blood pressure right now in the world. There's some, like right now, I know my heart rate's about yeah. one. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Lyle's is about 195 right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's like. Hey, I, I might hey. Call. hey, hold on a minute. Did Mac Fab send that sponsorship money? <laughs> you might want to go ahead and just cancel that one. <laughs> we, we ain't getting that money. See? Yeah. I knew every time I come on this show, it cost me money. 
Doug, oh, Doug Cook said he'll make it up. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it. <laughs> he said he's got it. <laughs> One thing, whether you like it or hate it, whether you like or hate Donald's promoting style, whether you like or hate me talking shit, it's good for the sport. We are gonna we're gonna put RVW in the pinnacle of small tire racing again, and I cannot wait. Y'all don't understand how long I have been waiting to tell y'all about this car. Let me ask you something, Stevie. Let's be honest with these people because they're gonna say we're. Let's get this documented right now because I'd like to clear this up before we go. Right. <laughs> uh oh, I heard some people on YouTube ain't happy with me. I just got a text message. Oh. Um, so lay it down right now, Stevie. What is, like I'm not saying you, I'm saying at the race, right? 50 to 60 degree weather. Let's just say, right? We got we got some good days of weather, right? Yep. Race for the record. How fast can somebody go? In the in the no limit race? Yes. Race for the record. No limit. What's the slowest and what's the fastest? Give us, like, if you got, let's say we got 30, 40 cars there shooting it out. How many cars you going to take? I'm going to call it a bump. How many cars you going to take? I mean, I you going to take 32? Well, you're talking about, um, I think we should take, I think we should take 16 for the first race. And if we got whatever entries, we'll run a second chance. But let's take, let's take 16. Because that seems to be the record that we're all like that we held. We held that for a long time at um, Sweet Sixteen for the fastest um, sixteen. And I know now it's been you know, of course, it, you know, years go by, people go faster. What the bump the spot, the bump spot will be in the forties, and an average run will be forty-five, and it, you'll have to go forty-two or faster to win. So you think you're thinking though that the new record when we leave will be somewhere in the 42, 43 or something? If there's good weather, good racetrack, it'll be in the bottom 40s. What do you think, Lyle? I don't think we're there. Well, here's the deal. The only reason that anybody else has a chance at racing RVW is because the the screw blower is penalized beyond any combination known to man. It's the heaviest well, thing out there. Not not to interrupt you, but you got to remember. You're over here, Stevie, on the radials. That guy to your left, on your right, my, but he's still on slicks in his head. So he's he's thinking different. He's got Cheetos and slicks, and you're over there with radials and fajitas. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Hey, so the only reason anybody can ever win against the screw is because they penalize the screw to where we have no shot. So when you peel 500 pounds off of that combination, I bet it runs faster, and I'm going to show you. It'll just, take a 42 to 43 to win. We've just been so far from that for so long, though. Like I know, it's because every time the screw approaches running fast, they get another 75 pounds. Y'all live in a world of pussies. The fact that we are. No, y'all live in a world of pussies where everybody has to have the rules catered to themselves. Oh, okay. You, you know, 28, 29. Everybody has to have all this shit. When you get rid of all that bullshit, throw your boost controller, that lockdown boot, and I love Joe O, but take that shit. If they still run that thing where no one's allowed to t touch the boost, take the boost controller, psh, throw that bitch out the window. Let's lock time to lock down the turbos, right? Freaking whatever y'all's overdrive. What's the most overdrive you can have, Stevie? Uh, when? In what? What's the most you can put on, right? Like whatever you want with no rules. Oh, just anything you want. 130, 40, 50, whatever you want. Right. Whatever you think you can stand. 150. We're going to call it 150. <laughs> right? Put your shit at 150. Put all that together. Because, like, like what Lyle runs, that's cool, right? I mean, if you're, like, if you want to tie your hands behind your back and run, that's cool. But if it's time, if you want to really go out there and race, right, it's time to find out. I mean, when you're at school, Lyle, let me ask you this. Did they make the fastest kid? Like, did you have... Make him wear flip flops and stuff against the other guy wearing Air Jordans or something. I mean, let's let them loose one time, man. Let's let them all loose one time. I mean, here's the whole deal. You're you're back and you're backer guy, right? You're owner of all this car. I don't even. I, I'm guessing it's the guy Richard Freeman or whatever, right? The guy's got more money than God. So let's fucking turn them bitches loose and let's find out then. Like let's don't let's just don't talk about. I mean, don't sit around. I don't want them sitting around their shop. With their semis and all their shit, talking about how awesome they are. When let's find out, right? If if they don't show up and someone goes forty three, I don't want to hear about how fast they could have went. Like not about oh, I could have went this fast. I got this much money. I could have had this. Well, if you ain't got your team there and you ain't on the property, don't talk no shit. 
Listen, I drive for I drive for Scott Tidwell, and that's who I'll drive for when we show up over there. Well, then you better have your shit together because that bitch oh, right there. It'll be together. It will. It will be together. Woo! Boy, it's starting to get hot. But right now, put the phone lines in Alabama right now. There's no sense. Scott is using yeah, all parts. <laughs> right now, I can tell you all right now. I I can tell you right now. And me, we we've had our differences along the way. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Manny Bajing is planning on coming and taking all y'all's money. Him and Antron and Nitro Methane and all kinds of shit. I don't know what they got going on. Don't sing it, bring it, don't talk about it, be about it. Uh Don, put that in the merch list. <laughs> put it put in there. It don't matter how much money Tidwell spends, he's still gotta beat Stevie Fast. But now y'all didn't, tell me, y'all didn't tell me that that Tidwell's got a hired gun. We got freaking Lyle coming in, you know oh, y'all. Oh, you, <laughs> you can't pedal that huffy backwards any faster than you are right now. No, I'm just, I'm saying, I never know what you guys got going on. You, you jumping from one millionaire billionaire to the next. I don't know what you got going on. Cheetos flying everywhere along the way. Scissor turn, turning, turning, flaming hot. Uh, Brad Furman, we'll find out uh, on that. Chris, Chris Daniels said he's coming to tighten up y'all shit too. Come on with it. We're going in 37 days. We're going to find out how thick the bushes are. All I'm telling you is this. I've been wanting. I got no flux capacitor. I've been wanting. I got a lot of horsepower. This this race for the record thing for a long time. I don't know how long I'm going to be alive or be around promoting shit. Probably less after tonight. I want to do it. Yeah. If uh, (laughs) it's possible, and I'll say this right now. If any no prep fan kills me before the race, Stephanie has my full permission to take two hundred thousand out of Duck X and pay for this race to still happen. Man, the money know. comes out before it's dispersed Man. up among all the freaking uh, all the people in the family. That's all I'm telling you. All right. Y'all heard it here on Stevie Jackson and freaking Loud Shaking Baker and all that shit. Two hundred thousand before we hand out any of the freaking um, what do they call it? Inheritance. Yeah, the inheritance tax. You make sure you write me into the will for all the millions that I made you over the years. 200000 comes off the top, and here's the deal. If I'm dead because one of those Cheeto eaters shot me and freaking Lyle don't qualify in the top five, I want those fajitas. And if not, you could come dig up the casket and put the Cheetos yeah, in there with me. Papa Tidwell's done told me. We're going to the top of the sheet. Yeah. Papa Tidwell, Papa Tidwell was the first bitch to call up and try to stipulate the rules. No, we, it's like that. The, no, first it's thing, the first thing he's going to call, he'll be talking about fuel. Well, what, you know, what kind of fuel are you going to allow in that? You're you know, mad because you know Tidwell could afford to buy the rules and he won't do it. That's the problem. No, Tidwell ain't got enough money to buy the rules from me. I no, he can that. afford to buy the rules and he won't do it. And he still goes out there and slaps people around. That's your problem. What race? What race are y'all going top of the sheet? I don't. The next one we go to. God dang! Oh my god! Well, he they had that car out there all last year, paying thirty thousand dollars a race from Proline to run that bitch, and I ain't seen it do shit. <laughs> Damn! What are you wow. talking about? He's won everything you offer. No, he ran a Pro Two Seventy Five. What about the RVW car when Markowitz went out there and just slapped them around like a bunch of little kids? Oh, I mean, and I can tell you this: Markowitz wasn't paying thirty thousand dollars a race split up between five people to try to make it happen. I see Markowitz riding around in the staging lanes on a motorized golden throne. Yeah, That's exactly. Bam, that happened. How many? How many cars are we gonna have in RVW at Lights Out? Fifteen. Um, real ones. Yeah. Well, there'll be 32 in the class, but real ones, man, I don't know. They're coming out of the woodwork now. <laughs> you done pissed off everybody. I can so tell you this. There's going to be. We were with, probably at 12, and now we're at about 17, I guess. Now. With, with Tidwell pissed off, there'll be less parts available in the United States tomorrow. I, so if y'all I, need to I, buy I, some I, one heads. Thing, one, thing about Tid, there. one thing I learned about Tidwell is, is he'll have three more in RBW's blockers. Just trying to take you out, Stevie. That's a promise right there. He'll buy shit. The problem is he ain't got but one Lyle. And that's all he got. 
Listen, so, no, unless you're going to get more Lyles, which they I don't make more Lyles. Than this guy too. The RVW car will be on the way to track. He'll just buy it in route. So, freaking like whoever's coming, he'll just buy that bitch in route, put it right in the mix with it. I'm just yeah. telling you. He ain't I'll got listen. the one Lyle, so don't matter how many cars he got. All right. So, listen, we got Norman Bryson. We got Chris Daniels. Enzo Pacini's coming back. Paulo Juice is coming. Brian Markowitz is coming. Stevie Fast is coming. The Glock car is coming. Lewis uh, Only Met, what I can't pronounce the name, is coming. Um, we have, God, there's some guys from uh, Australia, but I don't know that. What's that car from Australia? Um, hey, word on the street is it takes more than two clowns to get Tidwell pissed. I'm just saying. <laughs> I could pull up the sheet, Steve. No, oh, but that's nine. So we got well, nine well, real hot ones. Well, well, no. So Jason Lee. Um, and then I guess Martin Manny. Burke? I guess, well, I think Manny Bajinga's bringing a separate car for RVW. So that's, that's what one. that's what I heard. So Calvin and, Franco. And then um, supposedly Mo Hall's bringing a nitrous car. And then, you know, the, I'd say the top nitrous car is going to be Luis uh, De Leon. Um, with Xavier's deal, so whatever, that's the next person. You got to push your finger up. There you Sorry, go. I was reading the comments from the Cheeto guy. I thought maybe you stopped learning how to count or something. No, I was reading some Cheeto comment. Okay, let me let me pull it up for you real fast before we let you go. Hold on, a let me let me do um. What the hell you got going? What's the Cheeto eater saying? Uh, they're just, he says that, um, I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> Something about, uh, oh, I'm, I, I got to remember I'm washed up. I hope we see MJ boy 8790 on the list that lights out 15. Oh, um, I'm sorry. And that, I better apologize for this one. So, um, you know, you also, obviously you have Jeff Miller. Yeah. So that's 15. 15. Um, you have, um. Uh, well, no, Marcus Burt's not going to because Kyle stole his ride. It looks like so, uh, back fourteen. But you got um, then you got Calvin Franco. I have him. Got him. Um, is Demi Meisner coming to run or no? Yes. Well, I don't know. He don't even care about the race till the day of. But as of now, he'll take it out the trailer about a day before the race and show up. Um, okay, hold on a second. I got to go back here. Uh, I'm going to say now. I'm talking about real cars now, Stevie. Not. I'm going to say there's going to be probably 18 or 19 competitive cars. You right. know what I mean? And then I think you'll have, you know, obviously we'll have another, you know, 15 or, or so, um, you know, people doing other stuff in there. Let me, um, let me run this by you real quick. So um, I think the guy Troy Bostick though, with that 57 Bel Air deal. Yeah. Uh, um, let's see. I don't know if that guy Jimmy Taylor, because he ran some no prep, some Cheeto eating stuff too. But uh he came and ran the last one. Um John Carlisle, let's see, Trissel. Oh, Ed Bernardo. I forgot about Ed Bernardo. Yep. Um let's Brad see. Furman, it was a tall glass, buddy. Oh, uh, I think Jared Ring and them are bringing something too. Uh Heidi Carlisle will probably be there with hers. Uh Jim Monson. So that I mean they're Let's just say there's going to be 16 double throwdowners, and then you know you'll probably have I'd say another maybe eight or ten like right under them maybe, and then you'll go into the others. So I mean, here's the deal, Stevie. Really, you only I mean if you have 16 badass cars, that that's a hell of a show. To be honest with you, you, you know what I mean. Um, I would like some input as far as you guys think though on if we do a 16 car field. Versus the 32 car field for the race for the for the race for the record deal. I would like to know what y'all. I think so. I think at that race, you try to make folks run five rounds like that. You never have anybody left in there. <laughs> well, I think I think if you do a 16 car field for the regular RVW race, I was gonna say I think an RVW Pro 275 LDR and X 275 maybe, but definitely those top three. I think you go to a 16 car field anyway. Like it's well, so hard on Sunday race day. Well, so the new rule, and we're gonna and we're gonna put these out. So, and I, I guess I'll go ahead and say it on here. I don't think it's a, it's not really a secret, um, I guess. But so, and I know Stevie's going to make fun of me on this deal. 
But so you are correct. All of the all of the classes, those five classes at Lights Out No Mercy and all the Radio Outlaws, uh, the Alabama Slammer, um, Battle Throne, those are all 16 car fields this year. That's great. Uh, 17 through 32, though. We're going to have a Keith Haney Slammer class. We are going to have – there is going to be a class where they are going to be all in there uh, mixed together. Um, so – I and we'll have we'll have that out, like, very soon, maybe in the next day or two. We really should have had that out already, but it'll have it. But it will be 16 car fields. So, but if you don't qualify in top 16, you're not going home, though. You are going to be able to race for some money. Um, but, it, you know, I mean, we are going to do 16 car fields in all five of the classes, and then the remaining cars will get the race still. So, so. Okay. That's cool. And what that does is that allows your folks that are going to buy a tech car to test to do that, but it keeps the show good for the fans. And what's what's cool is is knowing in in E1 you got hot rod cars racing each other. Yeah. Hey, Duck, Kidwell said to go ahead and get his $50,000 check written for uh, Pro Junior 275, and he'll just save his parts. Pro <laughs> Junior. Stevie's got another name for that class, but he don't want to probably say it out loud or something. You talking about the uh, what I call it? You can tell what I called it. I don't remember. You're talking about the damn uh, the Pee Wee League. Yeah. You talking about? Yeah, he said he'll just save his parts. Y'all just I go ahead. And hit the I, I can't. I, ahead we're not doing it just like this. I I had someone that just said that uh, the Keith Haney Slammer class is like tra trannies in the Olympics, but <laughs> I can't really say who said it due to a attorney, attorney, attorney client privilege. Yeah, attorney client privilege. But um uh oh shit. Then that person said don't say that. <laughs> I missed that. Uh, hey, I didn't say who it was. It could have been anybody in the whole world that, that said that. Now don't send me shit and then you, you, they get me all worked up. People get me all worked up, but nobody knows who it was anyway. I made that up myself, actually. By gosh. So um, but yeah, that's uh but no, it, it's set up a little bit differently. I think it'll be fun for everybody. They'll get to run, um, but you know we do need to get the things down to the uh, to the sixteen car. Well, we we want to get it to where we got race RVW cars running RVW cars in round one. Like that's right. that's that's. So the here here was my only problem with it, and um, someone did tell me to tell y'all something too. Um, they said to tell you how ugly y'all look on here without them. Oh, uh, it's probably Courtney. Yeah, it's some drunk, drunk up woman. No, <laughs> um, Donald, I, I need to know which of these shirts I need to have you tomorrow for a. Uh, I need a long sleeve medium. All right, long sleeve medium, medium. Yes, medium. Um, for see. who? For me. For me, we're gonna <laughs> get in there. I think, man. I think I gotta have the crushing dreams and hopes, man. All right, let me get that to you tomorrow. I'll be good. Yes. I get that out to you. A medium on you look like Michael Phelps' swimming cap. <laughs> wow. See, that ain't right. That shit ain't right. This guy, I'm telling you right now, I hope we can still be friends when this show is over. You didn't tell me that you had a no prep, uh, uh, trans hiding in the closet, no prepper on the look, show. <laughs> I've sold more, more merchandise at no prep Kings races, and I've also won every one I've been to. But I didn't even know you went. Oh, yeah, I ran small time there. I won it every time I went. Part of the problem on the show, then we can get rid of the bait part. Just have the shake on here. And maybe <laughs> Damn. All right, Donald. It's been an awesome show. Do you got anything you want to say uh, before we're over? We already I, know your stance on fajitas. I better not say you anything get, else. You yell at my boss. Actually, I better go ahead and set my alarm system <laughs> <laughs> at the house because I just got another text message and they told me to. Uh, be very careful about going back reading all these comments. That it's, it's, it, it, get a little nasty in there. They said didn't say nothing bad about me, did they? Uh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, I mean, as long as, they, as long as they leave me and my family out of it. <laughs> right. Oh, your mom's gonna be on there discussing my out left and right. So you're bad. All right. Well, thanks for getting me in trouble. I didn't say nothing, so. <laughs> Brother, thank you for coming on. We'll see you in 37 days. Thank you for your promoting. Thank you for keeping the Drag Radio world alive. Uh, and I look forward to uh, coming out and hanging out. Did Lyle really go right no prep? Or is he messing with me? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah.
<laughs> please fall backwards. Please. <laughs> I think that's one of them things that you might want to tell your guests before they come on here. I mean, I mean, you don't have the guests come on here, set them up on a Cheeto. They all, they all know what beer money is. I run that thing in no prep all the time. He's running at your race. I, beer money's running there, right? Yeah. I, yeah, thought I, I, no, I thought it was a. I thought you had a no time car called Beer Money or some shit or something like no that. No prep car. It's a small time no prep car. <laughs> All right, Donald. Thank you for coming on, brother. We love you, and uh, keep on after him, buddy. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Let me get my foot out of my mouth. <laughs> All right. hey, love you, Lyle. Max Fab. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Mm. Boy, that's hot. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, if you guys missed Cleeter and Doug on earlier, uh, awesome guest. Donald, like him or hate him, he promotes the sport his way, and it brings in a lot of traffic uh, to the sport. Shadow 3.0, under construction, debuting at Lights Out 15. New merchandise on steviefast.com. Lyle and Tidwell want to kill me and everybody else. What else? Did we miss anything? That's it. That's it. Uh, everybody was asking where Courtney was. She's uh, snow bunnying it up in Canada. Got stuck on an airplane or something. Uh, she'll be on the next show. Um, I don't really know what else we could say. After that. Messing around intercontinentally, can't do that. Yeah, if you if you're ski balling around in the intercontinental side of life, you're just gonna get hung up. But um, I guess we I don't even know if we got any time to take any Q and A. Probably not. Um, thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for uh buying our merch. We put a lot into this merch drop, and uh, pick a side and ride with them. Twenty twenty four is gonna be an awesome ride. <sighs> I know. I know. We all got to go. Gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> Me and Lyle ain't going to sleep shit tonight. Matt, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs>